Right. So, uh, go when back you guys to clean your asshole in the shower. <laughs> there we go. When you guys clean your asshole in the shower, do you stick your finger up your asshole with soap? <laughs> Are you ready? Sit right in the middle. It's a Frankie sandwich. Right, dirty fucking sandwich. <laughs> We've been waiting to double team your What's little up, ass baby? for so Woo! long. Welcome home. This is where you belong. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting good. for this golf thing to fall apart and for you to come on home, but it doesn't seem like it's happening anytime <laughs> soon. Dude, dude Four the, play continues to rise. Particularly this weekend. Just I'm sure you guys moved just so much goddamn merch this weekend. We're trying. And it was making me think back to like early Milton days and... Dude, the most requested thing ever in the tips email was always like, can you guys just make golf towels? Oh, yeah. And for some we reason, we were it. just like, no. no. <laughs> like, but you like, know what? That's, that's like a idiot. massive, massive <laughs> industry that we were just like, fuck that. But it we're doesn't work it. when it's not na- that, like, yeah, real. You know, it's authentic. Right. Like, yeah. like, I mean, I, I tried. I, I, you can do somewhat. Like, I faked with the Islanders and we sold mm-hmm. those T-shirts. And you can, you can fake things here and there and make... A little bit, but you can't, you know, go all the way. And yeah. then this year in particular, I was just saying yesterday, like, I feel like in the beginning stages of foreplay, we were just throwing our shirts. And same with you guys. Like, we were just throwing our logo on just, like, the cheapest things just to get our name out no, there. No, now as you guys. go on, like, you get to actually make cool stuff. You guys have, like, the nicest so, fucking... But uh, how cool is it to actually have, like, real I know, merchandise? I know. Yeah, but you know, know what? Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, let we, me tell you come something. Back around see, see, but they, they, it's not, that's not true for them, I bet. Because golf is a very affluent sport and people are used to spending money and buying quality things and all that shit. Uh, it's not even the it's not even the level of quality. Golf golf fans, you know, want to look nice right. and want like to be fashionable and shit. We especially he tries with fa- uh, sad boy season and I'm doing it with these hoodies and all this shit. And you know what? Like our bestseller is throwing bombs and banging moms. <laughs> he's a fucking he's not doing either. He's a fucking backup quarterback who's not even playing. And people are buying that hoodie. Oh, They're buying the Wordle hoodie. Oh, Wordle. Jesus it's Christ. 2 years old. And we've got like these nice corduroy jackets yeah. and shirts. Like why am I lining. why am I putting an effort it for this? It sucks, man. And, and I think that's what you realize like when you when you see someone who's in any any variation of our industry like and and have been in it for a little while I think what happens is you, st- you 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 start like just trying to make money, then you try to do like cool shit, then you're like just go back to making the fucking money, yeah, right. and then the very end is when hopefully you have a lot of cash and you can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But that middle where you're like fuck it, I don't care. Let's make the dumb uh, uh, Val, uh Vince Small. What's his fucking name? Uh, Vin Diesel shirt. You know what I mean? Yeah, Dominic like, Toretto. Uh, Dominic, excuse me. Not yeah. Dominic Toretto. <laughs> Never mind. It is not Dominic Toretto on the shirt. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just a guy who happens to look a lot like Dominic Toretto. But yeah, we uh, it's it's very discouraging and disheartening. But you guys can just keep doing that. Yeah, you, it's you been can... insane. I mean, and yeah, all of our stuff is legit the best stuff in golf. Like Peter Millar is the top brand in golf. G four is the best golf shoe in golf. It's crazy right, that right. we're able to put our logo. You did the Taylor Mades. Taylor Made. <laughs> yeah, you guys were in the video club. game. You're <laughs> on the on yo, their, like wall. Yo, I thing. forgot about that. You guys being in the video Dude, game. Dude, I I, That's I think that aren't you guys like on their Hall of Fame wall or something like and that? Taylor Made. Yeah, yeah, that I think well, is even crazier walk down than Taylor Made headquarters. It's all of the majors winners that they have under their like blanket or whatever. And then there's Trent Ryan at the end. That's for crazy. One hundred. That is to me. He's right next to Rory McIlroy who won. <laughs> the, the video game makes sense because it's like, yo, let's go get the gamer uh, uh, demographic and like we need to get young and all that shit. But to be like, let's put these guys on the Hall of Fame yeah. wall. Like Rory like won the PGA Tour Championship and then had to like have his sign moved over for <laughs> Trent Ryan. <laughs> <It's insane. laughs> that it, it just goes to show, man, that golf, the industry, the people in it, the players most of the fans i would say or at least a chunk of the fans were just dying to be fucking normal i know like for years you had to like pretend to be something oh, you're not walking to go, on eggshells yeah to we go to go, those old you know, geezers out of the game <laughs> for real it's like to either go to the to play you had to play you know have a zillion dollars and go to a country club and and you had to wear stuff you don't usually wear and you had to like talk ways you don't usually talk and eventually it was just like uh you know we're not like 
like lords and ladies from old England anymore. <laughs> you can just fucking play sports like normal. You yeah, know? I mean, play well, golf, right? That's another big one, right? Playing golf. Pe- yeah, people get upset about people, that. Like, people play hate golf. golfing. They don't like they, the term you, golfing. You even say play golf. You could, yeah, you have to say like play golf, and you can't call them. You can't say golfing, even though we're golfers who then golf. You can't say. I thought it was the other way around. I thought people said we don't. Like we don't play say, golf. We if golf. If you say like, you want to go golfing today, like a pretentious fucking ass would be like, yeah. Uh, Do you want to go really? play I the game of golf? That. Is what they would say. That's even crazier because I think play but golf we went minimizes to fucking it. Scotland and there's a place called Crail Golfing Society since 1756. <laughs> right. They've been saying this shit for fucking 300 years. That's crazy. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Well, what I love most about you is I know that. Uh, I, I I rest assured that when when you go out for like a foursome and Frankie Borelli's in there, by like the turn, Frankie's like, "You ever think about sucking your own dick, guys?" <laughs> well, well, did someone, like, live well, because I've been talking about sucking dick a lot recently. <laughs> So much. I said that as just well, like a. No, so that's much. my go-to, but I didn't know you actually been talking about it. I've been thinking about it. Well, <laughs> not, not sucking the dick. I've been thinking sucking the dick. Well, no, we have these hypotheticals all the time on the podcast and yeah. and on the golf course. And I swear, it obviously originates from here. I think you guys had a answer to the internet where it was like, "Would you rather have a sum of money or suck a dick for like a?" Th- so I it was like fifty thousand dollars to cash. suck one dick. Or a thousand dollars for every dick you suck. So I said, uh, "Give me all the dicks." <laughs> I, all, I think I desexualize sucking the dick, where it just becomes a part of my day. And everyone, like Trent, it's like thinks teeth it's and pretty dicks. gay. Like he thinks it's pretty. He thought I was <laughs> pretty gay. Fucking what a, what a weirdo! <laughs> yeah. I think sucking, sucking dick, dick, dick is, is gay. gay? Well, I just, I think you think a dude sucking dick is the gay? The problem is, I keep bringing this up to all my friends and everyone, and they're like, "It's kind of gay." They want to <laughs> suck. I'm like, bro, I'll suck Frankie, a million. Dicks. Frankie, there is no doubt. That a guy sucking a dick is gay. <laughs> no, it's not. It's desexualized. <laughs> it's the same you. thing as brushing my teeth. Give I, me that cock. I'll fuck it. That <laughs> semen ends up being morning orange juice. I don't give a fuck. It's just, it's a, it's a payday. It's a payday. Bro. It's the same thing as washing your car. Who cares? You just go out there, you do it. Frankie, uh, we get, we've had girls who have answered <laughs> no! not the opposite of that. Bro, I would go no, so sir, good it's, at it's it. It's so it, gay. And it's really gay to be good at it. It's really gay to be good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm with you on the I begrudgingly give a bad blow to everybody. But like, if you get good at it, then it fucking job's done fast. Fast. Bro, I'll suck two really dicks every fast. morning. I'll yeah, suck yeah, two yeah. dicks before I leave the house. Two, two grand it in my pocket. It just becomes a thing you do. And like, I don't I'm understand what's wrong with that. You know nothing. What I mean? It's not. There's nothing wrong with that. You just have to give in that it's gay. <laughs> you have to be like, I'm a little bit gay. Like, like put it this way. If you suck at least a dick every single morning, you're moving up on the Kinsey scale. You're a little more gay than you were yesterday. You're coming eye to eye with the business end of a fucking <laughs> dick every morning. It's like the, the first, first time you suck that dick, you'll change your mind real quick. You're, you'll, oh. you'll be like, this but is I gay would, as fuck. But I do appreciate you. Like, like I would take pride in it. Yeah. I'd be like, I'd be like, a I'm job a, well done. I'm gonna fucking suck this. Now, do you bring the morning. same guy around or is that, is that get crazy? Uh, that's like, another what? one. Uh, it, w- w- <laughs> you, actually, you actually get a boyfriend? Like, fuck. Is that why I got into this dick sucking game? <laughs> I got same old dick. <laughs> I, I just wish I had a different one with different <sighs> shape, different size, uh, yeah, you know, different color. Roll over in the morning it like it's your wife of 50 years. Like, God damn it. Yeah. You yeah. suck that dick. Yeah, there's another one that was, uh, I'm hard, you, baby. Could, you could be your regular self or. He's doing it like you do when you wake up hard. <laughs> and you're, you're kind of like poking it. Like, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hey, you feel that? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it's here. It's here. You're like stretching and shit. Just gotta wait. Just, a, just showing you. <laughs> just, 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 just making, con- breaking uh, the ice, uh, making conversation here. The other one is: Would you rather be your regular self, or uh, you are a billionaire? But you have to suck. A, yeah, I, this is, I'm not even going to pose the question because you already said you would suck a dick a day All for a thousand dollars. This one, <laughs> this one, you become a billionaire. See, I Wait, don't, what was, what I don't, is it, this it's, one? it's your your regular self, or you suck a. I, I think it's like you suck the billionaire's dick, like an old guy's dick every day, and you oh, become the billionaire. Shit. You basically become like the billionaire's like little boyfriend. Here's in the, the problem: is I'll I don't be, want Holly Mad. No, not Holly Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. want it to be known that I would suck a dick for a thousand dollars. That is not what the hypothetical is. This is this is my debate: is that I I want the ability to now make as much money as yes. I possibly can. If you were it's ever not a thousand dollars, it's actually like ten million dollars. It's, like, it's, it's a blank it's check. Much I want it. It's a blank check. Yeah, I would never suck one dick for a thousand bucks. That's insanity. But I would suck uh. two hundred dicks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, you, 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 Who cares? you 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 would have a lot Grow of people up. being like, <laughs> yo, Frankie, Crazy. like, you know, uh, 
my house burned down yesterday, like, and I don't have insurance, like, I need you to start sucking those dicks. Oh, you, 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 oh you, you, that's people, a good point. You're a money tree. People would be hitting people you up like a money tree. It, it would be like when you when you win the lottery and you have like your cousin coming around being like, so oh. let me get that. Let me see some of that bread. Fuck. But you also can just be like, no, I right. suck the dick. It's my right. money. Right. You want you want the thousand? You start sucking yeah, the dick. You suck the dick. You get the, d you. the dick sucking <laughs> genie first. What about, what about like like flashback like early 2020? Everything's shut down. PPP loans aren't out yet. Dave's oh, not doing the bar school fund. Frankie can get a Miss, that Mr. Part. Borelli calls you up. The, the, the restaurant's Frank, going under, Frankie. Frankie. The restaurant, we got to close the doors. We got to shut up the doors. We need an influx of cash. Frankie would be... in like real life terms. <laughs> Frankie <laughs> would be sloppy. Yo, yo, your dad calls you. Dad, and then he like texts you thanks. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Be like, oh, we can keep you. the lights on, man. We got 75 grand this month. Like, thanks, dude. My you suck like, 75 mm, dicks for us. Thank you, man. And my dad gets like grateful for what I'm doing. That's just like, makes me feel So proud of my son right there. My dad's crying and shit. <laughs> Put it this way. That's tearing up. I actually think. I <laughs> think. Both of you tearing up. I think. I might. I might be. This might be a bridge too far. But I think you could do it every day easier than a straight chick. Like I think a straight chick would get the same way they get sick of like banging their husband. I think they'd be like, I hate sucking this dick. Whereas you would think of it just as the money. Right. Right. Like, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah no. like, like, she's just like, I'm in a relationship. Jackie, if you, if you were dating some guy and you had to just blow him every single day because, like, that's what you have to do as a girlfriend, you would get sick of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if, if I told you that you could get. After. It, yeah. But so you would keep doing it. Yeah. Well, I guess that's a good girlfriend. But if you could make a thousand dollars for every dick you sucked, you'd be, like, much more into it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think there's, there's. Straight chicks everywhere would be like the ma the majority of them would be like more sick of sucking dick than you would be. Right. I think we desexualize it by saying this is what's happening. Yeah. I'm not even thinking about it as a thing. It's just like, hey, I wake up, I suck your dick, I get a thousand bucks, I move on with my day. That's, All right. There's nothing wrong so with that. Now we have to take it a step further. Would you uh, fuck a dude? No, for, no, no. Okay, no, that's gay, dude. That's yeah, fucking gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it is. That's just too what about the desexualization that was going yeah. on? I can't though. That's crazy. All right, ten grand. Oh, that's dead. crazy. No, no, I can't. No. What, what if you found out it felt good? No, I can't. Fuck it. I can't. What if you? What if you really liked <laughs> yeah. it somehow? Dude. I just I like, can't. I think when we just get real, we're like, nah, I can't. <laughs> I can't. You know, guys, like, fucking crazy. Guys, like, what are you look, nuts? Look, guys, we're having fun here, but I can't. I just can't, fucking dude. Like, no matter what. What just desexualize it? You're just looking at the wall, I know, bro. I know. Now a hole's it's a hole, me man. Think about the, the the dick part now. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I, to think I think everyone's bro, all you talk ever, until you ever look down a pee hole? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever like, seen a dick like this way? <laughs> I watch enough shit. Until you. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I've never seen that, but like, all right. I mean, I've you, seen my you, own. I've like. I watched some. You, you ever like opened your own? I watched some dude lay his dick on top of a guy's chastity dick the other day. What? Yeah. Wait, what? He laid his like big cock on like a guy's tiny little wiener. To let the what, girl, Frankie, the what are you watching, like girlfriend bro? Girlfriend can show. Frankie, that's gayer than up. sucking it dick. Just popped yeah. up. That's gayer no, than sucking like, dick. It just popped up. It was like, oh, like, like, what, like girlfriend shows husband what a real dick is, and yeah. it was like he, she she walked him over like it was a dog, and she fucking <laughs> I know that game. Up. <laughs> she, laid, she laid it on him, and he's just like fucking dominating this guy. I went over and fucked his wife, bro. It was getting, unbelievable. Getting I watched that shit. I didn't even get hard. I was just like, no. <laughs> I was like, this is unbelievable. That was an insane scene. <laughs> imagine, imagine like just you have this is your little dick, and, and a dick just oh, drops just on, on it. top of it. Just a heavy, about, not even a, oh, like a, like a heavy like, thing of flesh dude, just drops dude, on your tiny dick. Dude, dude, like a fucking skyscraper falling on a house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought you were building? This is a fucking building, baby. Like you're, the, you're the wicked witch, bro. Your oh, little yeah. feet just hanging out. That house just fell right on top of you, dude. So, yeah, I don't want to oh. look into a pee hole. No. But <laughs> I, I, I think there's something about dude, seeing wait. a dick from... You know the other way, like you're staring at it like it's a fucking Not snake, good. you know, going at you. Not good. That's a weird. That's you, a, you know, you're, we're used to seeing it this way, or even on a screen. But you see a 3D dick like this, and you gotta go at it. 
I don't know. That's, Sometimes in that's these, weird. Um, in these uh, urinals, you can see different re- uh, reflections of your dick, which is crazy. They have reflections. One at U- yeah, like the uh, UBS where the Islanders play. They have like an all chrome. Oh. one, and I'm seeing like bottom right view of it. Weird. It's wild. <laughs> yeah. 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 Frankie's getting Dude, hard. I want to go to fucking... UBS like right now to yeah. see it. I know. I know. I've never, I've never seen this it's angle. A, it's, it's not like a mirror. It's just stainless steel. It's just an all stainless right, steel. Right. So you get a reflection. Right. Reflection. It's gonna say there's there's a mirror here. That's fucking crazy. On your own face. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's got to be a market for that, no? Yeah, all right, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm sure there's some. Weird, I mean, I, like, I sex think it was places. hilarious. That'd be very funny. Yeah, to just pee on my own face, not at, without actually peeing on my own face. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get a good laugh out of that. <laughs> I, this is why you're. you're I was gonna say, <laughs> you're born to be Dude, honest. You were saying though, you were saying like like it just popped up. I think something's happened with the Pornhub, where it is now no longer taking into account like. There is no more algorithm. I think they're just feeding you shit now. I'm sure. Because, like, I, dude, there, there's one. This is what people say who have their front page is weird shit. That way. Bro, like, bro, no, no, no. It's honestly, it's not Robert even, like, very. It's not even, like, weird. Questioning I'm, not, I'm not even, like, embarrassed to, like, say dude, it. You want to know just, how fucked up I am? I don't just know like, how this happened, but my Instagram algorithm is all women, like, breastfeeding. <laughs> how did that even happen? Bro, bro, I, think, I think shit? yours is. I think look, yours might look, be. It's the first one. It's a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, what? Bro, bro dude, that's see? nip. Nip is out. <laughs> dude, I didn't know what would happen. I, didn't even, I swear to God, I didn't even click on one, bro. Just, <laughs> now I'm, the, now the, it's going to hit me a million times. The account is breastfeeding.preg. <laughs> With, and, and it's got like a little... I, pro- <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. I didn't ask for this. Bro, hashtag... And, this, and it's got some weird... Uh, <laughs> Lip syncing thing. Hashtag breastfeeding moms. Hashtag breastfeeding. Hashtag breastfeeding mom. It's hashtag fucked. breastfeeding mama. Look how many. Look how many hashtags. Oh my god. Like, how did that happen? Hashtag Why Frankie is that Burley. on Instagram? <laughs> yeah, man. This is that's a, it's your first one, and then you got the regular stuff. You got you got some back cracking. Everyone's got I some love of that. The Me too. You got some. You got some weird tooth Dude, thing. I, I got the tooth thing too. You got some fat tits and fat ass, you little pervert. <laughs> yeah. What happened but, one time? I think it. I think it like popped up, and then when you slow down and be like, "What is that?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then all That's of a sudden, the, the next time it's like two, and you're like, "Why am I getting this?" And the, then it's fifteen. You're the like, "What's alg- happening?" The algorithm needs to take into account morbid curiosity. You know, right. like where it's just like I didn't really want to see that, but I had also, to slow I down. The, it should be pretty easy. I didn't Three, like it. Six, I was nine, just curious. Twelve, fifteen. 18. <laughs> it took 18 to get to golf. <laughs> <laughs> His 18th recommended video is a guy swinging a golf club. Bro, Instagram is a wild place now. It's fucking nuts. That is hilarious. Dude, but the I, I What's have, on your Pornhub? It is, it's, it's not that common, but it's happened like one or two or three or four or <laughs> ten times. It, it is just like fucking jacked chicks. <laughs> like fucking... Like kangaroos? Bro, bro, there was one. I want to find it. <laughs> I want to find it because it was so like disturbing like it was just zoomed in on her like the, the thumbnail was just I'm not, now see now I'm like now, I'm now you're looking for I'm, it now I'm looking for a muscle girl Guess this what? is what I mean be, yo here it is I found it yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got so excited whoa yeah. I was like is that a dick that, is that, she has one no, of those clits that's so big clit. what the hell am I looking at <laughs> Bro, oh, dude, that's the <laughs> thumbnail, dude. dude that's the thumbnail, bro. That's 4.2 million views. <laughs> see, that also makes me feel better about myself, though. Where it's like, it's like a lot of people are watching weird things. Yeah. Four, let me see this clip. Like yeah, four million weird. people are looking or clicking on that thumbnail. God, it looks like a toe. That looks like a toe. <laughs> Wait, like that's. Are we sure that's a clip? I, I, that looks I, like I, a I very didn't small the video, dick. but that looks like a clip to me. Ruby Muscle visits the West Philly dungeon. Oh, oh God, bro. Ruby Muscle is definitely just a chick. <laughs> oh, these are all uh, girls with really big clits, and I don't like that. <laughs> but I will be clicking yeah, on right, West Philly suck a, suck a clit like a fucking like a little, <laughs> little neck. Lollipop. Like a, <laughs> yeah, 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 you drop bro. a little neck in. <laughs> bro, this is. Would you rather suck a dick every day or a huge no, clit? I don't know. Man. Like I think I'd rather his dick. Yeah, I know. I, I know. think the clit wears me out. Yeah. Bro, like look at an oyster tits. every morning. Just look at those tits. That's oh, disgusting. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's everywhere. It's gonna be all. Oh. It's so hard for me to jerk off now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ah! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
<laughs> I'm gonna it's ask. hard to look at. It. A, I'd know, rather watch the guy lay his, his heavy cock on the small guy. You know what? I, what, what I have it's is heavy cock. <laughs> when I when I go. <laughs> Dude, a big cock is one thing. It's a, a heavy, heavy cock. Because <laughs> <laughs> that because honestly, don't you feel like a like a seventy like a three quarters? Don't you feel like a three quarter dick is is heavier than a hard dick? It feels that way, doesn't it? Like you drop oh, it, well, like a yeah. like a seventy five percent hard dick I've, I've has some weight to it. Before. Yeah. <laughs> but your hard dick's like floating. Your teeth after like your dick's going Why down. Is that, yeah. How is that it when you were the thing that I said? Like, yeah. And he's like, Boom. You, <laughs> here, here's what happens to me. <laughs> I've, got, I've got Pornhub on my... I've got Pornhub on my uh, oh, thing shit, right there, but wordle. but it's a fucking... Uh, it was a specific video. It was a, it was a cartoon. No, it was a cartoon, though. <laughs> so so this says this has been removed at the, uh, at the copyright holder because I think it was like Lara Croft or something. Yeah. So now the first... But I oh, but I just use that as my... I just use that as my thumbnail. So now the the very first time I go to porn, I'm, oh, it's always cartoons. So, so, car, so I mean, but, by the way, the cartoons are getting real real. <laughs> so like, bro, that's you're telling sick. me that's, you don't want to watch that? That's unreal. I mean... Dude, I'll, I'm trying bro, to find... Fights, look at that. That's a cartoon, bro. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I could get that. That's fucking better than a fat clitted uh, jack jack. Man, what is wrong with you, bro? Why dude, is that your fucking... Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, I literally never looked at anything like that ever. Uh, I don't know how fuck. that would end up so there. So do you think that there are people... I mean, I know I would. If I was working for, like, the Pornhub algorithm, I would just be like, I'm going to fuck with this guy's day and this <laughs> yeah, girl's yeah. day and just send them weird ass I'm, shit. I'm going to send them down a fucking rabbit hole, like, has just start their head spiling. Like, yeah. What if I looked at them what and is think this? that I would like this? Yeah. And and do, oh. I, do I like this? Right, that's the thing. <laughs> you start to get it into is, people's brains like, well, wait a minute, maybe I am into this. stop wondering if like, it's actually... And it's like the real world. Stop stop uh, wondering and start getting real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking for this ad I had. <laughs> I <laughs> yeah, oh, I screenshotted it right here. Dude, this ad is so <laughs> fucking funny. This is... It's, the ad was a gif, and I thought you can't gif it. But like, imagine you see... You, it's like a, it's oh, like a thing in your... Oh, shit. And it moves. And it kind of just hammers away. Is like that, that on a and man or a woman? It's, it's on a man, <laughs> but it's like imagine like it's in his shower. Oh, I've oh. seen that thing. I've, I've contemplated buying that thing. Dude, <laughs> imagine you that thing looks car awesome. Car. <laughs> but imagine it's just hanging in your shower. And you just have to explain to everything. <laughs> like, what's this thing? Like, my dick washer. That's the thing that sucks. My dick while I shower. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just washes it. Bro. It just washes it. Great. It's a dick washer, bro. They they have finally come around on some of those uh, some of the. Sex toys for guys for for so long everyone was always like you know the girls have all the good toys we just have like a flashlight well, they bro, have that one thing that me, spins you messaged me and you said have you ever tried this like meta quest thing uh, the, the virtual uh, reality what's it called uh, yeah. uh, uh, Oculus. Uh, Oculus. Oculus Oculus born Frank um, and uh, you're like dude you can't yeah. I actually Frankie said my family never. banned me from trying <laughs> 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 Not allowed. They said that to you. <laughs> yeah, not no allowed way. to get it. You'll never leave I the house. That shit. No. I, I proudly, I proudly, like I did it, and there was like a three-day period where I was like, I gotta get home. I gotta oh, get home. Yeah. And then, but then I like broke, I broke the cycle, and I haven't used it since. Fucking holes in the drywall. If I had that thing, I'd be running around all crazy and shit, fucking losing my mind, Dude, it, fucking it is, everything. I really, I really need you to try it once. Though. Oh god. I'll just, I'll lend you mine. Oh, that way, you won't have god. it at home. Because I really, I, I need to know Frankie's like reaction it's like to this. Because it's eating crack to somebody for, or like yeah, 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 you just get like w a one day crack binge. Oh god, dude! dude when when Adriana Chechik, uh was whispering in my <laughs> ear, I was like, one. "Whoa, this is too." <laughs> fucked you said up. that to me when I was driving. I almost crashed the car. <laughs> it's like, bro, they whisper in your ear. I was like, Jesus. I, I'll never leave that verse, <laughs> dude. That's, See, that's the future, think, man. I, I've never done it, and I, it doesn't appeal to me because it is like. Masturbation is just a transaction where it's just like I don't I don't want to get too into if it. If you were younger, like you would. I would like I would. What if you get the toy I'd, with at that it? point? I'd, I'd rather just fuck a person. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Obviously. Obviously, but but like but like yeah. If that, I could just if I could have sex with Adriana Chechik, no, but I would there do that. there are definitely times I'd rather jerk off than have sex. Yeah, I would I, I would you. rather. Oh, so if you're like that horned up to that point, you just like yeah. go try to actually have sex. with And a girl. also just such effort that goes into it right. that like I, I it's guess still less effort. effort than having sex with a girl. Right. <laughs> At the end of the day, for the for the vast majority of people, it's it's way less effort to fuck an Oculus thing than than have sex with a girl. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So. Uh, I don't want to take it off of sex. I'm sure we'll get back to it. But uh, speaking of all verses, lead back there. we fucking we've been we've been hammering the fact that this is all simulation on foreplay recently. The whole world. The whole world. That's my new official belief. See, I I 
I can't stand uh, not that I can't stand it. It is just I can't combat it. Yeah. Like I'll just be like, no, it's real. And you are <laughs> like, well, you're there. how do you prove it? Like, I don't no, I can't it's prove simulation it. meaning that there's other people uh like meaning that play, someone like, created with us? this and they left us in a deep part but, of the. But when of you their, say someone, do you mean like other humans an, or an alien or another a like yeah being? another being or like another? But do they so look you're not like saying us. this is just in your head. You're saying this is. I'm saying that some other existence far away or wherever, maybe it's another dimension of it, right. has created this for us and they've put us here and it's just been something that experiment. we're experiencing. Yeah, I, I I don't I don't think that's well. I mean, everything's that's crazy. too. You're just perfect. describing religion. No, but I think it's like <laughs> yeah, like God was the one who put us right, here. Right, but I think that I think that that's more believable to me that somebody did do that than the fact that this all just happened by I, fucking coincidence. I, I think it's the other really day, weird. You know what really solidified it for me was that I saw this thing that was like the moon is the exact distance away from Earth as it is from the sun, and it's the same diameter and like in perfect. distance to the sun. If it was an inch off, we'd all go flying into space yeah, and shit. Yeah. It's like, well, yeah. someone obviously figured well, this all out. I know, but I also think that it has something to do with like gravity and shit. Ah, where fuck it does. That. No, yeah, but, but no, there's so many, there's so, there are so many things, uh, like, I don't know the examples, but I know there are many things uh, that are, that people point to, that's like, it's just too perfect, where it's one two. one inch this way, one percent that way, one milligram, you know, whatever, we'd all be dead. And but I also what fucks me up the most is like when even if you say like the Big Bang, right? Which I think people are now saying is like kind of not the, the truth anymore. Like what is that exactly banging into when they say the universe is ever expanding? Well, what is it? Going into we all just it. don't like, think about it mean? enough. No See, one thinks. I, I want to be like it. him so bad. He doesn't. Like, how think, do you not? He doesn't think, think about this ever. Never. We're on a planet. He doesn't and think we're about flying this. Space. Frankie, like, not it's once. fucking insane not to me that once. no one. Why do like, you guys think? He's about a fucking it. dog. He's just a dumb because dog. Like, <laughs> like, we a, have to know what's going on. No, he doesn't. How do we just accept the? How insane is 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 life that we just accept that no one knows what's going on? Hundred percent. How insane is that? Think about that logically. But no one. But the whole world doesn't give a fuck. We just like we just do it all. All just giving up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's like three guys that are trying to figure it out. It's like the James <laughs> Webb Telescope like flew this thing out yeah. there, and they're just looking at stars now. The it, that I, I do that's like settling to me. Yeah, no, if, uh, it, it's the uh, like the scale of it all fucks me up. Where it's just like it's. But that's so, why I just like I'm like oh, I'm, I'm he, yeah, yeah he, bro. I I couldn't finish college. You think I'm gonna figure out the world? But it's not that. It's no, just like it's just like being scared about I, it. I, just, I want you to be scared. That that would give me like about it, I want the world to be like nervous why? about what's actually happening here <laughs> because it's fucking crazy. Well, how about even, We're all just even, too normal. Even more than that, what about like when there's like a. When the fucking tsunami hit and 250,000 people died and we were just like, oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just, that I mean, sucks. When did that happen? 2000, I think it was. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I think like, like No, 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 week. no. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, you know, yeah, some people were upset, but most of us were just like, I don't know. That was crazy. Yeah, Keep yeah. moving. Yeah, we, we, we might be next. I don't know. 250,000 dead people I never met. I'm not rooting for it. But right. I'm not, it's, it's not going to ruin my day. Uh, I, like I, I saw, like, I saw uh, um, there was a graphic that said if you take the Milky Way galaxy, which is our galaxy, we can't even we can't go outside our galaxy. We can't even get outside two planets. Our, our That's fucking, how far this yeah, is. Our, solar system, our galaxy, yeah. if you put it on, and this is the scale, the Milky Way galaxy, if you put a quarter in the middle of America, That's that would be a, it's fucking how crazy. small. Our galaxy is that's the crazy. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I acknowledge that makes it's me crazy. Want to fucking scream! He <laughs> <laughs> gets going on it so much. It's so great. <laughs> Quarter. It's so it is. It's so small. But like, but, but what is Feidel, Feidelberg uh, is very like. If I can't do anything about it, I don't care about it. Which is a great way to live. The only the only class that ever resonated with me that I even remember one fucking millisecond of in college was philosophy mm -hmm. and uh it's the only class that, that in english the only class i ever got good grades in. philosophy yeah. was like it's very interesting going back I, if i could have like majored in that or took more classes i would have done that but um like there there is you know i think it's hedonism it's called hedonistic or whatever where it's just like the, the their philosophy is just always do what makes you feel good mm. like as long right. as you don't hurt other people you like you're you're just here there's no rules Everybody, like, you, you I, just I, I do whatever you want to do because there are no rules. It's right. just, like, we're just here because we're here. That's why I, I think that the idea of selfishness should not be uh, pejorative. 
Right. Why don't you get one life? Why the fuck wouldn't I be? Well, that's what that that's what that uh, philosophy is. It's just like as long as you're not like you can't murder someone. Right, right. I, mean, I think we should agree. But even that, it's like I don't know why not. Right. But I think we can agree on a baseline of like don't intentionally harm other people. But when we, you know, it's like the amount of people you know that just stay in a relationship because they don't want to hurt someone's feelings uh-huh. or f- stay for the wrong reasons or whatever, like ruin their own life because you don't want to ruin someone else's life. And it's like you probably should just be like. I'm choosing me and you got to go do you, right. you know, like because that. it's just like do your own thing. Quit the job or, you know, whatever. But then there's things like it's like, oh, I don't want to raise my kid. It's like, well, you should probably well, yeah. fail on your kid. Right. You know yeah. right. so that, but then it starts yeah. to get into a gray area where you're like, should have well, gotten a smushing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. Yeah. That, that, the, I, that is the one thing I do. I do. Uh, I, I don't. I reject selfishness in that. And I, I think it's rude to not have sex with someone if they want to have sex with you. Just fucking do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying unwilling. I'm not saying like that kind of thing. I mean, like, that uh, dude, rapey, dude, dude yeah, but that sounds like I, I'm that saying sounds it, like just let yourself get raped. Dude, <laughs> it is. I mean, I guess that's the word you want to use. I'm referring to myself. Where yeah, I, because you're a guy. I never yeah. have sex. I want to have. Like, the <laughs> second someone shows said, interest in me, he, I just do it. I'm like, yeah, I got five minutes. Whatever. He said if. Uh, you know, girls are like, if I don't come, it doesn't count on my body count or whatever. Yeah. Feilberg was like, if you, if I didn't want to have sex with you, it doesn't count. My number's like four. <laughs> <laughs> He's only had You've sex. You've been taking with advantage of yeah. hundreds but of But it's, like, it's not taking advantage of I'm just like, yeah, whatever, fuck, who cares? Well, that's also because you got raped in the woods <laughs> by the old man. Feilberg has far too many sexual assault cases to for Not right? assault cases! Well, they sh- what should have been cases. Well, they should, they, the other people should have been. Yeah, yeah oh, right, 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 right. You were the victim of it. It's not me, you know, dude. Feilberg has... <laughs> <laughs> Several examples where he was the victim of sexual you assault. Just let it float. Just uh-huh. float away. Just yeah, he just doesn't. Just he just doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. That's a <laughs> At the same time, we say this. It's like, yeah, Feidelberg doesn't care, and he just lets it float away. It's like he's also ragingly depressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So We're like, describing mental illness. It's also it, he carries it with him every single day, and it's an immense burden. <laughs> oh, why? Wow, that's so hard. That. That's, that's a, we do it every day. That's the podcast. I did that the other day too on four play. Mm. Someone was like, "Oh, you know this this." Uh, Coronavirus killed millions of people, and I was like, <laughs> "Dude!" And then I stopped the podcast, and I was like, "Whoa, whoa!" It's because we were saying how Tiger Woods beat it so easily that he beat a fucking—he's so good at everything that yeah. he beat a virus that killed millions of people, and he right. played golf while doing it. And I, was, I laughed at that, <laughs> but I laughed after they said it killed millions of people. And I just had to. Well, we're, I mean, we're warped at this point. You got to right. know that anybody who's worked here for any extended period of time is just absolutely warped. Bro, what do you think about the brain? In the sense that it doesn't actually know what's going on in its own body. We were talking about this the other day. Like, like you Do we know that, a, though? You have to go to a doctor, and he has to tell you that you have something wrong with you. How does your brain, your own well, no, brain... No, I don't think that's true. Yes, it is. Like, you're, no, like, you like, know you're, something's wrong. You might not know what. Right, I feel why? Like, it, like, like your, your brain body, should be all-knowing about everything I think it kind of is. I think like when you're in pain, that's your body saying no, something's it's always wrong these, when you're like, in... It's always these hints. It's almost like a, It's like someone that can speak to the dead. Like, is he wearing a red coat? Like, no, just fucking tell me. Do I have whoa, cancer? Whoa, yeah, I lost me. What? <laughs> Like all these like people that can speak to the dead, like, fucking, <laughs> like if you could speak to the dead, you would just you know, like, like just these, fucking uh, speak to her. What's the word I'm looking for? Like a medium, like, a medium, mm, right? Yeah. Like a medium. She, they get all these people, long on me, and all these people, and they're well, like, Frankie, that's fake, <laughs> right? But I'm saying it's all these hints, right? It's yeah. like, oh, is he wearing a red coat? Did he used to have a ring? It's like, well, if my pop pop is there, just, just tell him, say just it. talk to me. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah I don't yeah, care yeah. what coat that. he was wearing. Well, that's because it's those same with symptoms. Those are scammers. It's the same with so our brains a scam. No, 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 no. Because you have to understand that like what cancer is is it hides itself really well. Okay, but like, so like it's, say- it's 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 like your it's whatever's hurting or harming your body intentionally masks it so like your body doesn't know. I'm just so saying it's more like it's getting really no like right now with COVID and the flu like it's like we don't know what it could be like shouldn't our brain be all knowing about everything that's going on? Yeah, I have a runny I, nose. I get it could, your argument. It could be I, a I, million I, different things. It could be nasal congestion. It could be fucking a virus. It could be but. But like, why don't but we know? It does. But like, no, when, you don't. When you're like, when you're in your body, when you have a runny nose, like your your brain's telling your nose to make more mucus. Like it's doing that I in get response. That. But I'm just saying, so shouldn't it, knows. it be all knowing about like exactly what's going on? Uh, why do we, like why do doctors exist in that sense? Well, I guess you got it. It's just like life where you have to experience stuff first, right? Like your brain, like you, you get sick, you you get a virus, I see what you're saying. and you learn how to fight it, and then you never get that virus again. But until you fight that virus, your brain can't fucking know how to fight the virus. Yeah, like learning- I guess also like before you ever broke a bone, 
and then you break a bone, and then when you break your second one, you go, oh, it's broken. Yeah, yeah, like, right, right. You broken. know it right yeah. away. It's like the first time you're like, yeah, you have to experience things for the first time, and then you should be able to figure it out. Right, that makes sense. Also, I, I, also I get think what that you're Most brains that. probably fucking stink. You got, I, I <laughs> yeah. bet you, th- like, I, how many? People- our brains are probably. In, like, the top. Like, there are so many dumb yeah. fucking people. What I'm not saying we're, like, Elon no, Musk no. and, like, and whatever, QAnon but, like, just regular so, people. Like, those, like, absolute Dude, lunatics. I was trying to explain QAnon to Did someone recently. First of all, I couldn't believe there was someone left in the world that didn't know what QAnon was. <laughs> but I was, like, trying to explain it. Like, like, like no, never heard it before. I was like, <laughs> I want to live your yeah, life. Right? You know? <laughs> but, yeah, like, like uh, the fact that Homeboy from the, from, uh, the Backstreet Boys just, like, <laughs> he he got kicked out of the band for a little while because he just was he became such a cute. Who was this? Oh, uh, Brian Luttrell, right? Brian, yeah. yeah. I forgot he about that. He became such a cute. Yeah, he looks like a kicked. cute guy. And like that guy, like they. <laughs> Did you watch the documentary? Like the little guy. Yeah. That was fucking and then dead. and then it was, like they're just like it, we're pretty sure it's that Chinese guy, right? <laughs> yeah. Like at the end of it, they're like we're pretty sure it's this Asian dude. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the end. It was just like well we think we figured it out. We don't know. Uh, but like the fact that there are, like like. Because I can get down with conspiracy theory. I know you can, too. But then you get to the point where there are people who are like, nah, that's not Joe Biden. That's not Donald Trump. That's Trump wearing Joe Biden's face. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, they're like, for real, man, look it up. They face swapped. And they like, it's like really middle, believe it. You middle know? land Florida, like like inland Florida. Just believe like they have the same. I brain. think that was actually uh, I think that QAnon was like a, a exercise in. That pushed the boundaries of how gullible a brain can be. <laughs> right. Like there were just like if if we if I had known how stupid their people were like that, I probably would have tried to come up with my own fucking like QAnon ahead of time. Oh, you know but we I mean? knew about QAnon. I mean, you no, 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 that, that go I mean? back as far like, as religion like, like, itself. I, yeah, I guess that's I guess right? religion is <laughs> like, religion is a QAnon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fact that there are people who are like I'm eating his flesh and drinking his blood right now. Like, no, no, no. It's really his blood. Like, Dude, well, no, it's fucking. It's lunatics. a cheap to Franzia. It's, I saw the box. <laughs> yeah. in the, in the, in the I ordered bag. the fucking wafers <laughs> off of Amazon, dude. It's not. Trent and I mm. went to go see um, Chain Gillis when he was here for the New York Comedy Festival. He was amazing, obviously, like the best comic of all time. I love him. I love that guy so much. Uh, he also big timed us after. We were supposed to say hi to him. And he's really? Like, that guy's like, uh, he's like, uh, can't make it. And then that night, and this is for good reason. He just took a picture of Dave Chappelle. So he went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Us, he just wanted to go hang out. With Dave. I understand. The messenger were like, yeah. it's no problem. You yeah. <laughs> but um, I can't remember who opened up for him, and I don't know what the guy's name was. But he tells a joke about God and religion that I think it's really, O'Connor. Opened I, up for him. I was gonna say I think it's O'Connor, and I think I've heard O'Connor do a God like God work before. It's very funny, it's, right? Like it's changed my life. What do you say? Basically being like, imagine like a. And I obviously could be messing it up, but he's like, if some like another alien race came down here, and he's like, yeah, like God came here, and we fucking killed him. <laughs> <laughs> like God came down, and we murdered him like, in like the worst way possible. Like, like you better get the fuck out of here. Yeah, for real. <laughs> We're we had Mama Jam. We had the coolest dude ever. He could do everything. <laughs> Literally, God sent his son down. And we murdered him. <laughs> we fucking sent him back up. That's like when Philly, when the what was it the robot? <laughs> Got destroyed in Philly. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> or, or the the uh, one of the, my favorite tweets. The uh, um, uh, was it? Me and my friends would have killed ET with hammers. That's for sure. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> like I can yeah. tell you that for sure. <laughs> Dude, the, the, I think like the human instinct is like something new arrives. Can you get me one too? Something new arrives and it's like. Can I fuck it or kill it? <laughs> we're doing one of those two yeah. things, or both, <laughs> and it depends is, on what order. We're not. That sure. is one of those things. Where, yeah, that is what my internal emotion is. That is yeah. what I am inside of me. And we teach people, and rightfully so, I think, ninety nine all the time. Like, be who you are. Whoever you are is who you are. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I'm, well, I'm, a, a, I, I'm, a, I'm a murdering fucker. Yeah. It's like, well, <laughs> well think about it. I, you know, as, as much as we are uh, uh, evolutionarily different than, like, a monkey, I think it's, you know, it's one little chromosome. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like it we're one little thing away, like you were saying earlier, from being like, I fuck, I eat, I kill. You know right. what I mean? Like, that's fucking... Monkeys are... Cr- like, it is, dude, are I actually... When you watch them... Because mo- they're, they're, the thing is, they're, like, they're as smart as you can... B while still having primal strength. Right. So that's kind of scary. Yeah, yeah. You know? Puddle Brick is pretty much like a gorilla. <laughs> pretty close. <Yeah. laughs> it is It is the, like, it almost like 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 uh, the walk a mile in my shoes and shit like that. People should have to walk around with testosterone in them. Like, 
I think you've said I, it before. I tell, they're, they're, uh, mm. Women who, who transition to become men have been like, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I did not understand... You know, I'm what sorry for right. like when I yelled at you about this, that, and the other thing in our relationship. Because like you when you, he makes you angry, it makes you horny, it makes you clap, like everything. Where they're just like, you're just walking around all the time, like pent up, like ah, <laughs> I want to fuck it, I want to kill it, I want to fuck it, I want to kill it. And and now like I don't want to be like that. I'm just like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I am. I am. A- Always a gust of wind from either being enraged or hard. Yeah. <laughs> like like, like Louis C.K. bit where he picks up a girl and he's like, all right, I'm just going to go fuck it. And he's like, oh, I'll just leave my car. I'll just get it tomorrow. <laughs> he's not even thinking about his car no, getting Nothing towed. matters. I'll just leave my car. I'll just get it tomorrow. Dude, when, you, when, you, when you're in that mode, think about it. You go out with your friends and they're like, yo, uh, you know, like your only way to get home. Is, nope, I'll stay. No, just, I'll go back uh, with her. Nope. We'll fuck her on the beach. I'll go to jail. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, no. Dude, you do not care about <laughs> anything. I, I've done the, I've done I've had both where it's like I went to go fuck couldn't find a parking spot and just became so mad I couldn't find a parking spot that I just like just, just sat in my car like punching the steering like oh, damn it, why is it fucking parking <laughs> Just pure fucking rage, and that's that's why. I, but then when you come and you and you and you switch your brain, yeah. like that, one of the scariest things in the world is the first time you have, like, uh, if you were about to make a real bad decision and you come and then you don't, and you're like, yo, I was yeah. I was not in control of my own body. <laughs> yeah. That was like something possessed yeah, me. Just, that's you know, insane. I'm actually it's wild. supposed we, to. Be we getting... keep, we got to do this. We got to get our. We we've been saying forever. We want to get our testosterone well, test. Is yeah, in, yeah, yeah. Um, we got. We want to do it, and we want to see who has the most and the least. So I'm doing. Oh, we got it right here. Okay, and I'm cool. Sending I think it. This is it. You got to. You got to do blood or what? No, I think it's saliva. like saliva. I'm sending mine in. I'm afraid they're just gonna tell me I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <it's> just fucking- <laughs> Like, dude, dude, imagine you get it back and it just said you just get a piece of paper that just says your gay, and it's not even spelled right. It's spelled your, your gay. <laughs> the, the results funny. are for picture of uh, your gay. Picture of that heavy cock sitting on top of the fucking one of the chastity belt. You're fucking gay, dude. Yeah, that, that was, and that you have low T. I would love the people at Get Checked. You get a note back that says. We didn't even run your blood, your saliva. <laughs> we, ju- we just listened to you on KC Radio talking about heavy cock. You got low T in your game. <laughs> I'm actually nervous about taking that because I don't want to have to go down that rabbit hole of like. What I that's I am do. very against a lot of that stuff because it's like, I'm good right now, and even if I'm not, I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when it's te- when it tells me. You've got to take start taking this for like supplemental. Like, oh. fuck, I don't want to do that. Mm. You know, I don't want to know that it's 10x a- stuff right now. That would horrify me. What's he doing? Like, Dave did that 10x thing. Um, that um, who What's did it? That? Like Dana White did it, where it was basically like you go to this guy and like he tells you he takes all your blood and tells you exactly <sighs> what you're missing, like what your biological yeah like age is and all that. Right, shit. I think right, Rogan right, right. did it also, and they let you know Rogan like. Did. Hey, like your biological age is seventy. Like yeah. we have to give you this to get it down yeah. to like what you actually are. Yeah. It's fucking. No, I, I would I get never want to know. So, no. I wouldn't want to really. Bro, know. look at us. I know. You, you think we're? I guess we're, we think we're money, men. It's like, actually nice to be able to like make the change. But for me, it's you like th- you think that we could like you know you think that we're gonna be like men? No, I can't. They're, turn they're gonna be around. like your your like results show you that you're like a sixty three year old woman, <laughs> and you can't fix that. Yeah. Yeah. You can't fix that, man. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I, I, and also like there, I would not make the necessary changes to my life. No. Like I'm just gonna live my life how I live until I die. Yeah. Bro, whenever you that happens. This weekend, I had to go ice skating. I oh, saw that. No. So the school organized this thing. They said, do you, you know, it was almost like a field trip for the kids, but like outside of school. And they, uh, they sent an email like right before saying, we got a lot more yeses than we thought. We need volunteers. I get there. There is two instructors and like three classrooms full of kids said yes. They all said yes. It was like over the holiday. Parents need something to do with their kids. They're young. They want to do it. Like everybody obviously said yes. So I'm like this. This I was like I'm gonna have to get on the fucking ice, aren't I? I don't have the right socks on. I'm not. You know, like the, none of it is is appealing to me. I watch them. They just give give my kids a fucking parking cone and say like go skate. You know. And Keegan was like struggling bad, and I was like I'm gonna fucking go ice <laughs> skating now. And I was I obviously don't. I'm not good at it. I don't like doing it. But I remember back to the uh, the Gronk thing, the the Barstool Olympics yeah, yeah. thing that we did, and I didn't you know win it, but I was like, I can I can ice skate. Right. And I was like, that wasn't that long ago. It was like seven years ago. <laughs> longer than that. Bro. Longer? I thought it was like 2015. No, how long ago was that? 
I would been, I would have guessed eight. I mean, it was before we moved here. Okay, so like I would guess eight nine. Okay, I've been here for so, like seven years now, which is twenty sixteen. No way! Oh, wow. Yeah, so six years. And wow. I, wow. That's what? very surprising. Oh, wait. That's a repost. Uh, uh, 24, 24 okay. years. Okay. No way. So we're pushing eight years, almost a decade. I guess that does make a difference. That's enough time where you're like, oh, yeah. But, like, I couldn't believe it, man. I was like, oh, God, this is bad, dude. Mm. I was, like, wobbling and, like, and you know what it was? It's just the, like, the nerves of, like, being like, I'm just going to slip and, like, fucking fracture a bone in my wrist. And that's just going <laughs> right. to be a, a huge problem. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So I was just like, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. But, uh... Uh, also, the the rage within me from this fucking the people at the ice rink. I wanted to just be like, I'm gonna take my skate off and fucking murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the the uh, like, and, and, but it was so depressing to be like, I can't just well, like we're pathetic. Put on some yeah, we're pathetic. That, this is my long window well, story to say we're pathetic. Well, that's what happens. Like my brand has now become like doing things that I have to like perform. At. I have to play golf and but like do good. it well. No, but then I have to play the drums. I got like oh, elbow yeah, surgery. My yeah. body's like falling apart. That's true. I didn't think like as I was gonna get older, I would have to like do athletic mm -hmm. activities, mm -hmm. like play the drums. Drums in an hour long How concert. I'm 29. Why'd you look to me? Well, help here. I thought you were still a little younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I when I interviewed uh, Jerry Ferrara, Turtle from Entourage. The uh, he was my age now back then, and he was like, because you know he used to be fat. And now he's in fucking great shape, great hair, like turned it around totally. And he was, and I'm starting to realize that, like the truth of this around like late 30s is where you're like oh it's put up or shut up time like if you if you just continue to let this happen it's gone right. you're not gonna get it back right. like i remember but looking also, at i feel like people say that about every age i heard that about 22 i heard that about 26 yeah but it's happening yeah. that about 30 it's happening I, though I, it is like, when i, I mean, sit in a chair for too long my knees swell up <laughs> I, 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 I used to be able to like if, I'm, I'm, if, I'm I just, like, if i, I just uh, if i just uh like dieted for like two weeks i would like bounce right back yeah if i needed to like if Dave was like, we're going to do this ice skating thing. I was like, well, I'm not great at ice skating, but I can do that. You mm -hmm. know, like, it's like getting to the point where it's like, nah, I don't think I can do these <laughs> things anymore, man. And, and it's, and you know what else? I saw pictures of somebody uh, we used to work with when they were younger, and they were so skinny. And then pictures later, and I was like, oh, my God, they got fat. Yeah. And I was like, how? Are you I, saying it right to my face? <laughs> 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 fucking insane. No, no, not even. Insane. Like, your moon face someone doesn't even a, compare. Someone sent a, t a tweet yesterday being like, do you guys do the do you guys do the width of your hats based off your fat moon face? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys base the width of your hats off Frankie's fat fucking moon face? It made me laugh for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, so, so mean on the internet. Mean. Dude, <laughs> so mean, man. <laughs> no, but I get what you're saying. It's, like, I, 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 uh, I I feel like you you have these different like benchmarks like yeah. I used to be 180 and like if I ever approached 190 I was like yo get your shit together you can't have 190 <laughs> yeah, and then like 190 becomes number. regular yeah, and yeah. now 200 scares me and eventually 210 is going to scare you. and then all of a sudden you're fucking fat you know what I mean <laughs> because you just at least for me like I just kept going through enough shit in life where it's like I gotta worry about these kids I gotta worry about this divorce I gotta worry about blah 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 where you just like put everything else aside yeah. and you focus on not being in shape until you're, until it's too late and then you're dead then you're fucking dead I talk about my <laughs> thank buddy. god I, I can't wait for the sweet <laughs> release of death I talk about my buddy Rob all the time on the podcast he's just he doesn't laugh at work. He's never smiled at work. He's just never found himself in a situation in which it's made him chuckle. <laughs> he just goes to work, does his work, and then goes home. His hair's falling out onto mm -hmm. his keyboard. Mm -hmm. His teeth fall out into his ham and cheese sandwich because when we were in like high school, he got punched in the face because I took somebody's hat off their head. <laughs> and then I turned around and clocked him. And he's been dealing with this fake dude for like 12 years. Finally got it done. It got rotted. His teeth are falling out. His hair is legitimately falling out to the point where he's going to Turkey like tomorrow to to get a fucking hair transplant. Why is he gonna go to Turkey? Because they call it like they don't talk, call it Turkey Airlines. They talk, call it Turkey Hairlines because everyone's been going there to get these like three thousand. They, they, they probably do something like illegal that we can't. I do think that I think Mike just got it done. Um, Mike Logan's guy. Yeah, I think that's where he heard it from. Really? Yeah, he's just doing Logan's. it. Like Metallic. Oh, 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 Mike uh, Mahalik, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mahalik. But we yeah, all, I, I'm sure it's probably something where it's like you, I like, this just is not safe thirty thousand here. here, they do it over there. Because, oh, is like, it? Okay. Becoming a doctor over there is, like, a lot cheaper than here. Like, schooling Got over there it. is cheaper. Interesting. So all, like, medical is just cheaper. Um, I mean, he's probably going to die over there. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's been funny because we've used him as a benchmark for how old we're actually getting. Like, we call him, like, he's basically King Viserys. He's, every time we see him, he's like, bro, the other day he showed up to our house and we played poker and he's just, like, he fell asleep like this and he just looked her 
horrific. <laughs> hey, first of all, he fell asleep like, like this. this. Yeah. That, that right there is a bad just, like, sign. I'm like, on uh, his head. I'm just bald spot. I'm like, dude. dude the balding horrific. is the worst, man. Yeah. The b balding is the meanest thing that happens to. What do you think is worse, uh, men who go bald or chicks who get fat? Because <laughs> um, I think at the end of the day, that one out. I, I, I think at the end of the day, fat girls can still like guys will fuck them. Yeah, but I think and I think, I think girls will fuck bald guys too. Yes, uh, I, I I think that there is. They both have their place in society. We don't have to eradicate them. It is, but it is I the. Think uh, it's, it's 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 very like guys don't have much uh, about them. Like it's just like, are you tall and do you have hair? Yeah. So yeah. when you don't have hair, it's like, well, I feel like the pendulum's got to be swinging back on talls, and I don't think I took enough advantage of it. I don't think it is. <laughs> I think there's a, the short king movement. I think made I th enough. Th of but like everything a, is so cyclical. Like we gotta, at some point, I don't it's think gotta, so. I, I think that tall and big has always been like it's a primal thing to go back to the earlier conversation. Really? I just think like by you know biologically, it's never been good to be short. Unless right. I mean maybe they're like sneaking around or something. I think, but like being big, <laughs> yeah. Maybe you need to fit in boxes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's a time in society where you can fit in boxes. You're really good. <laughs> when you were minors, you were good to be small and get in the hole. But I, I think I think the short king thing made it enough of a joke where a girl could be like, "LOL, I fucked a short king last night," and it's like, okay. Um, but overall, being tall is always going to be winning the genetic lottery. Dude, that is one of my favorite jokes in Ari's new special when he's talking about how he's like, he's like, I've been everywhere in this world. I've been Latin America, Australia, Asia, blah 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 blah. It's like hottest chicks, bar none, Berlin. He's like everyone in Berlin is fucking six four, six five, well, stunningly good looking. I'll tell you why. And he goes, and it was my first time walking around going, all right, you guys might have had a point. <laughs> you know, he, he's like, he, he, he's when like, you you're are, right. I don't belong here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when, when you think about like, yeah, when you think about it, <laughs> check out, it, check out like, Ari's special Jew. It is bro, very, very I funny. See it still. Oh my God. It's it's, it's I think it's fucking one of the best things I've ever watched. Cause it is, it's, you know when people are like, I've been working on this for like five years. This is like my life's right. work. Like Ari legitimately has just been like cultivating this this Jew humor <laughs> for his whole career, right. and and he's and he's perfected it. And it is it's like you learn about shit. And it is like, like yeah, you do. Learn. It's a it's history lesson while what? being funny, and it's also when you think about it, it's a history lesson of like the least funny thing that's ever happened. You know, uh, to the people. It's not all about like the Holocaust mm. and shit, but in general, a huge piece of their history is like the least funny thing that's ever happening happened, and you're laughing like the whole time. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. Unbelievable, but yeah, I mean, he uh, Ari, you know, when he's he's like, yeah, we're you know, we're sickly and we're you know, we complain a lot and all these things. And it's like, yeah, they're. The he, he, goes, he goes. He, I mean, he goes, it's like Tommy. That's what we so, so we say. Tommy is the least, the uh, most Jewish, <laughs> non Jew of all time. Yeah, he has he has the thing where he's talking about. He's like, he's like, but we're still like. Like we're still the second smartest race of people of all time, and he goes on about other stuff. Who's smarter? And he just pauses and goes, Corinth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. No one yes. even yes. asked anything. He's just, he's like, Corinth. <laughs> that is, that is a very funny part of that. Stuff, but he's true. It's like every, you know, they're all smart. What do you want? They're all fucking smart. It's like, I don't know. They're the, the CEO of every company for a fucking reason. It is what it is. Yeah. You know? Black guys are good at basketball. Jewish people are smart. These, you know, these are, these are stereotypes for a, a reason. Fact. It just happens. That's you know? just a fact. <laughs> How's that game? Uh, the, who's the biggest asshole? Uh, we. It's our number one seller of uh, Black Friday. Wow. Considering that we uh, we did a terrible job leading up to the drop of this. Wow. We are for people who have been in this game for uh, all of our adult life. We're still horrible at this. Oh, we're so oh, bad. Yeah. We were like... We had no promo. I mean, no, uh, not to be fair to us, the, the game didn't exist. We couldn't Yeah, this is the it. only game But we probably should have been rolling like, out some that, of the episodes. Like, the time. We, we barely... Well, we didn't know. Here, this is, this is so perfect. Like, this is the perfect example of just, like, I think dudes and us and how we operate. This is 500 cards. Um, we needed to uh, basically come up with 500 of them. Because even the ones that we've done on the podcast that were either from the internet, from our, our, our callers, or from our own personal lives are like novels. So we had to like cut it up, condense it down into like a sentence, right. but still be, you know, it's, it's harder than it sounds. But we were like, you know, they, they, they told us like we need 500 of those. We had a deadline of a year. 
<laughs> you they were like, we need this before. done by like this time. <laughs> we had a year? Next year, yeah. Nah. It, was like, it was like nine months. It was like nine months. Was it really? Yeah. Round up for dramatic effect. Okay. I didn't and, know and, that. And I, was I, kind, I, I, I texted that. the group several times being like, I need everyone to do 10 tonight, you know? No, we never did it. Uh, we basically let it go down to the wire and they said, if you don't do it like tomorrow, no. we won't be able to roll it out this year uh, for Black Friday. And I was like, well, you know, it's so hard. We did it on like one train trip from Providence to New York. Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> could have been just, could have just been done. Like, yeah, you know, it was for, a little more than that. It, it was, we, a, we had but, a couple but, more but sessions, but yeah, did, but you know what I mean? But in general, mm -hmm. like it was, it did not. And now like it was a pre-sale and, and uh, apologies if it doesn't get to you in time for, for, uh, for Christmas, it can be like a, you know, take a picture of this and be like, it's going to be it's here coming, in like a right. week, you know, but the procrastination was insane. And the laziness That's was That's just nuts. who we are, though. That, uh, and I was like, as much as I was like, guys, we suck. Yeah. And like, there should almost be like punishment for this. Right. I was like, but we'll, we'll do it again for the next one, too. Because yeah, right. it's just yeah. like who we are. Right. Dude, you I know? slept on a mattress last night. Don't expect <laughs> things of me. I slept on a, just a bare mattress last night. <laughs> At home? My apartment. Why? Did you... Why? Why? I, what did you do in the? No, no, because my fucking sheets are in the wash from from the from ice cream. Ice cream. I have not. You don't have. It yet. A, you only have one pair of sheets. Uh, I didn't know. I have. I, don't, I, I have several, but I don't. They're. That's a that's a horrible way to sleep. I don't know. They're, you see, they're wherever he, he, they are. He uh, fell asleep with ice cream the other day. I saw the picture. The picture? That was horrific. It was it was so that's massacre. the one that just. Who did you guys have a guest and you show that to someone? Was it Nickelback? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. People think he has a Nickelback in here. That's Crazy, insane. sitting in that seat right there. Fuck Chad me, Grover. dude. He just started singing at one point, and I was like, oh, yeah, he holy just shit. breaks into that. Look at this! Oh, and it's like, whoa! And I'm a winner. I've always been about, about Nickelback. Everyone's like, oh, they're simple music, and like if you stack all the music on top of each other, it plays the same song. It's like, well, if it's good, what's the problem? Also, when did that become? It, it that that is totally PR. I wish I wish I could like go back in time and do PR with them, like. If uh, if like you do that with Michael Jackson songs, right. it's like oh he has such a distinct style. Right. But but Nickelback is like also oh, their all style their songs sound is the like same. Bro, simplistic, <laughs> very catchy music. Uh, Superstars fucking good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, I I hate that when they're like the chord progressions are like so simple. Who cares? It's like, not everything needs to be a fucking guitar solo. Like no, 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 no. that's like, just what they are. These are good songs. But it is if you ever heard. Uh, I think it's look at this photograph someday. They like they blended the two yeah. together. Yeah, it's yeah. like a, it's yeah. exact song. But like, <laughs> who cares? Everybody Dude, you does could that, do that with ten million Drake songs. A million Drake songs. You could take "Oops, I Did It Again" and put it over "Hit Me Baby One More Time." Like everybody's lead singles and big shit's always like give the catnip to the fucking people, and then yeah. you know we'll play. There's some real an old songs. viral video called "The Four Chord Song" by Axis of Awesome. They're like a comedy band. They just put together every song that plays those four chords, and it's. Every pop song, ever. Right. everything, and everyone's like, "Oh, you think this is a neat, unique song?" And they hit, I think, like seventy-five songs in one song. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I mean, the amount of like samples that are used in rap music or drum loops, like every single song. But the but you're gonna pick like these guys out, you know? Right. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> We're almost into winter, allegedly. Winter now is going to be like February through May, but whatever. It's the holiday season. It's the time of year where you kick back, you drink some whiskey, preferably the single barrel from KFC Radio, uh, mixed up maybe perhaps with a little maple syrup to make yourself an old-fashioned. Maybe perhaps you drink it on the rocks. Maybe it's straight. Maybe you sip on it in front of the fire with your family. Maybe you fucking one-touch it with your boys that you're having a reunion with. Either way, it's whistle pig season. And uh, the best whiskey on the planet. This is this is this is not a joke. That's just I think you, it is. I think you really could make the argument from top to bottom, from like the Boss Hog down to their their most affordable. Like, cause you know, I'm sure there's other brands that people are like. Eh, this is the best ever, but it's like, but you can't get a bottle of it. Yeah. Of a variation of it for fifty bucks the way you can with Whistle Pig, and you're doing the collabs with like the people in the demographic that you are in that you love like the most. It's the most like full comprehensive whiskey brand I think on the planet Earth. Um, the new the new Boss Hog. Have you seen it? I I've seen Fucking it, yeah. Dope. I seen I'd it before, like some. I know, like yo, gee, I'd, come on. I'd like, like some, Betty Butts. I'd like some, 
very much. <laughs> very, very much. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I forget what flavor it is, but the, it is it is oh, mouth watering. To me, also the boss hog is about the uh, the it. packaging and like the pre- presentation of it. The sto- I'm such a after getting involved with whiskey, I'm such a simp for like the stories behind it and how it's made and like like even the fact our small batch we took a uh, I think it was ash wood bar stool and we put it in with the whiskey to uh change the flavor so it's like the bar stool flavor you get it uh all the stories like that of the way that they make their whiskey is unbelievable there's a reason why we did it with them uh greek fig nectar yeah it's like blue and right it has and like scratch ventura like greek, bottles yeah from the greek isles yeah, back the in the siren day. song yes that's it yeah. the mediterranean i like right. a matter many <laughs> <laughs> So whether it's the Boss Hog that you want to buy, I don't even know if you can buy it. Uh, uh, you can. It's a thousand dollars. Retail or secondary market? Retail. Uh, I, I get. I guess. I, I, I think guess the retail was. Like, I thought it was like five hundred usually, but maybe this is. It, that yeah, good. It's, I mean, it's secondary. Uh, no, yeah. here's. Oh no, that's a different Boss Hog. I think from the from their website, it's probably sold out already. But I think it's like five hundred bucks. You can get it on the secondary market for uh, quite a bit more, uh, or you can grab a bottle of the KFC Radio whiskey, not a thousand bucks, from your local liquor store, or buy it online. Go to whistlepigwhiskey dot com, find the KFC bottle, go get it. We actually we 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 got to the bottom of it. Um, it it's. Colin Quinn's old show, Tough Crowd. That's what. See, I saw a clip of this. Yeah, and he, they they said they they didn't know who it was. Did you see the clip? Was it Colin Quinn or someone else on his show? No, well, I, he saw the clip. Of, I saw the clip of you guys talking oh, about oh, it. Oh, and it was okay. interesting that like someone yeah. set that narrative. That's. I mean, that, like, like those guys, guys are fucking just. I actually think in the long run it might be better for them. Yeah. Right? Because it's one of those things where everybody is still buying the records. We know that. And it keeps your name in the zeitgeist and everything. Yeah, and by them now, being that thing it. makes them more popular right. than them just being like, one in a million there's 90s a, bands. Right. Like, I was going to say, there's a thousand, you know, like, I don't know, fucking spin doctors. You right. Know, like, they don't have any narrative one way or the other, exactly. you know? I think Creed and them were one in two of, like, right. most sales of the 2000s. And they're the two Perfect. bands that everybody makes fun of. You right. know, like, sign Creed me up for that. Creed was there, too? No mm-hmm. way. It was, like, I think it was highest sales of the 90s. Or 2000s, whatever. Dude, like, I'd night, rather have that than Indifference. Real quick, talking about games, the other night we played the game of charades at my house, and just to show, like, actually how fucked up and gay I am, <laughs> there was... <laughs> this just popped in my head. There, it's a kids game, right? So, like, I mean, the, 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 the words on there are not sexual, but we had to get our person... It was a group charade, so it was two people trying to get one person to guess. Got it. And the word was centipede. So I took the my buddy, centipede. and I just... Threw him down on the ground. I put my face in his ass. <laughs> and I bet wa- they got it. And we walked around the fucking. I bet room. they said centipede. He's like, "What's happening?" <laughs> and someone just like centipede. I'm like, "Boom!" I mean, hey, bro, you want to win the game, game, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How else would you do you a centipede? play yeah. to win the game? We talked about it for. A I long think you have to. I don't know, like do something with like a, no, a bunch no, of legs. You want like, the one thousand percent what I would do. Your buddy's asshole. And you just fucking parade around. I maybe would have like. Tried to grab him and do it the other way. No, no, no. Nah, nah. If you're gonna do it, you gotta <laughs> yeah, do it. No. I think yeah. the worst part of it was how human like, is d- aggressive is it was. I yeah. grabbed his hips. You I, pull them in like, I, yeah. and I like he slid on the wood floors towards. Me. <laughs> oh my <laughs> yeah. god, bro! Uh, almost I'm, like clawing. <laughs> <laughs> Fingernails. Oh and I've seen that move in porns when he kind of just dragged like, yeah. hey, they're yeah. to stop. You, man. We also said, like, what if you just made a, like an X-rated version of charades? You know? It's like how funny so, that would be with, like, couples. Like, oh, like you're playing with, like, your friends. Like, blowjobs. Like, oh, you win. You I, just, like, blow your friend. I was kicking around the <laughs> idea. Like, like, oh, that's a blowjob. And you're also just, like, sucking Andrew's dick. <laughs> just like, ah. Oh, win in the game. I, you know? I, think, uh, <laughs> I think I was kicking around the idea of, like, um just a full-blown game night for like a KSU radio yeah. game night where everything is yeah. x-rated or or like really uh shock value like I love that I shit, mean imagine dude. if you were like if you had to do sh- charades for like the worst things in the world. Oh my god! You know, like how would you do straights for Holocaust? That's what I was. I was thinking. I, already I don't know what I would do. I really don't know what I would do. <laughs> you, immediately, it popped in my head. <laughs> what would you do? Not yeah, you can't say. It. Like you would have to be. Like, you'd have to like. You gotta be the walk, right? <laughs> like, the way you walk. No, yeah, okay. yeah. You have to do the walk. That's, dude, the goose but then, exactly what I thought. Yeah. And then, then you'd have to convey like the Jewish people. But then, in a way. yeah, they're like I'd that's po- a nightmare. You'd point to John's nose. Like Nazis, you'd be like. And then that's <laughs> yeah no that, oh, God, you could have yeah. a lot of fun with that this <laughs> dude this has given me like renewed uh, faith or I guess maybe the opposite I don't know where I stand on uh, like on 
Like, if you're ever bummed out about your life or think that you're weird or stressed or whatever, like, the scenarios in here, yeah. it's like, fact is stranger than fiction, And it's your man. bestseller, so people are yeah. buying games. Like, dude, Well, what's cool about this one, game nights. this is also, like, it's a real game. Like, right. you have these these chips that you bet, and there's a judge, and if you uh, if you say, the boyfriend was the asshole, and the judge agrees, you get points for it, right. the other people don't. You also can try to then sway people to change their opinion, though, and then you win the points. So there's, like, a lot of, there's actual games to it. Like, the gameplay of Answer the Internet was, like, it's not. It makes because sense. it's, I, 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 I think this one does have the gameplay too. I do think it, it, I'm more you, of a conversational. Guy. Totally. When someone starts explaining a game to me, I'm like, I don't, don't want to do it. Yeah. Particularly a card game, mm -hmm. like, like I mean, I mean, like a deck of cards. That I'm like, I don't. I'm fuck yeah, this care. suit means I, that, and right. <laughs> this is will will 100% just end up like you're at the bar playing it. Right. But if you ever wanted to like sit down and play for real, like you can do that. Yeah, but all games evolve into that. Like I, I always pull up your guys like KFC. I, I pull up the um, answer to the internet all the time just to bring it up to my buddies. Like like just hypotheticals. To, I'll do absolutely. the same with this. I do the same with the dozen. I always pull up the dozen. And I'll just read trivia questions. Mm. I'll literally just go through the video the, the video and I'll just ask read questions. the questions. Yeah. But yeah, the the one the one that I've loved. Um, was um, a guy got his girlfriend a uh, his grandmother's his dead grandma's mattress for her birthday. Oh, he, so it was it was, it was, it was, it was the boy the boyfriend got mad. Who's the asshole? Him. The boyfriend got mad that the girlfriend bought herself an Apple Watch for her birthday, uh, and like like one upped him, and in, the, in this case like ten upped him. <laughs> Because his gift to her was a dead grandma's dead mattress. Grandmother's she like she knew she knew that like a grandma died recently. Was the, she the, in need the, of a mattress? Yeah, they were like supposed to get one, and they I don't they, know. they they, the they got it late. There. They got it. Li you don't know who it's the asshole is. Him. It's the guy who gave her the gift. Is the dead grandma's mattress? I know, I know, I know. And but then got mad about it. How it got, got a deal. Got a good deal. It's a fucking bargain shop. It was uh, right zero dollars. All it took was one dead grandma. It's still fucking like gray hair. What did it cost me? Oh, a lifetime God. of memories. <laughs> um, when I watch people live uh, the Dave life now, when I watch like Austin go through it and uh, new people get yelled at or whatever. Do you, what 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 do you what do you like what what do you feel what, what's like your emotion when you see that because I actually think you're one of the last ones Austin gets it too but like I think from here on out it'll be like a revolving door of assistance yeah. and shit and they'll kind of get like shit on but they also won't ever get all the perks yeah like like you were like his you know well, we were grinding I mean he still yeah. is grinding like crazy but you're like, doing like, get, like pizza reviews all over the place yeah at that and he's point. still and, doing that so like yeah. shout out to Spider and Austin they're fucking going every single college They're go so yeah he's definitely still in the grind mode I mean the guy's never stopping but I guess what's different now is that he's not in the office as much so like even yeah. when the task was over I still was like, well, under watch sure. yeah which was yeah. like just like it was that's insane. that's kind of what but I mean. The, I, the I anxiety like, I would get. <clears throat> yeah, he, that this is people forget that he. You know, we always Moment. list like the 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 Dave guys, yeah. and you were never like officially his like one of his I cameramen or assistants. But Feidelberg <laughs> was under. I say literally because yeah, Dave used to sit on that perch <laughs> for you know and he years. Home, right? like, he uh, no, like, it was didn't, didn't say hi to you, didn't say bye to you. Just, but like, but I preferred that. I preferred being under his perch because the anxiety that I would get from an email. Was worst. ten times worse than just hearing it from him. Yeah, like when just he just when it. he just talked to me, I was like, all right, we like we're talking like adults, when you see like, that like, like humans. Pop up. But when you just get like the text from stomach Dave, cancer or the fucking, <laughs> That's all, I swear the, to God, if I have it one day, it's because of that feeling. Yeah. Dude, the fucking like it would just be like just just the subject of an email, no body, just like what the fuck yes. is wrong with this? Oh. You're yeah, like, you're like oh my god, oh my god, oh my Dude, god. The best, and, the best one was Riggs and Trent got. Uh, so they were at like the Ryder Cup or something like that, or they were oh, at yeah, something. You guys got smoked for that. Yeah, I wasn't part of foreplay at that point. Oh, okay. But, uh, so, so he goes. So Dave started the email being like, "Hey guys, great Ryder Cup, right? Awesome, awesome, uh, awesome job by Tiger Woods winning the first one, the first round, one and zero. Where the fuck are you guys? <laughs> so the beginning of it was all super nice. That's like, actually <laughs> like one of the funniest. Like, he usually just goes what right to business. What the fuck are you doing? Wake up! Wake up! I remember that one specifically. That y you guys just like weren't yeah. covering that the Ryder Cup. It was kind of oh, crazy. Dude. It was that was kind of crazy. It, it was, was like five years ago, so I think they didn't know. I, I don't know what they were doing. I'm not sure what the reasoning was. Well, I'm, I'm sure I could there. tell you that, like, foreplay probably had, had exploded. And in Dave's mind, it was like a new 
vertical yeah. that was amazing. But since that never ever gets voiced to anyone, the, the four play guys were probably just like, I don't know, we just keep doing what we do. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, the bar had been raised and they never knew it because yeah. nobody communicates. <laughs> the uh, we had fucking the one he sent me. This is like when I was at Barstool U still was. Oh, wow. uh, what, what, did, was did you have an all three go in there? No, you were just fight over. No, you Fidelberg. were like still a college kid because I I didn't do when it was. It Barstool U ended up becoming just another of the Barstool sites. Yeah. But when it was like pitched, and not it wasn't pitched, it was told to us. Um, it was like you are only allowed to do college stories. Like, right. It is no other stories except college things. So we were like trying to think of like unique college stories, like top five. Beer Frat, pong or, yeah, yeah, yeah. All well, that kind also, of I think the original thing was the hope was to get college writers. Uh, kind of, I guess what the Viceroy program has become, but with more bloggers. Yeah. So that's why, like, Keith had a alter ego named Brick Noonan from Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and he would just publish stories under that sometimes, and K. Marco other times, and I think Dave tried to do one he of his alter. He was like Woody from Texas or something. Like was that. he? Yeah, because I remember there was there was like, that Dave like Silverfish or whatever. Remember he? Oh he yeah. He was like yeah, Tom yeah. Silverfish was an alter ego on the newspaper, mm -hmm. and I think he tried to like revitalize that or revive revive that for. Barstool, you he would write but with we, a different tone and stuff. Like, just I don't think he would. He, I think it was very knew, obvious. You could yeah, see all the spaces, yeah. and, <laughs> and like. But, but uh, I, I remember but anyway. like, we were writing like like we, we, cause, like the only website we could use because the only like college exclusive website at the time was like HuffPo College or whatever. Yeah. And they weren't they weren't that many stories. So like we would go like a day where I had like two blogs up because like we didn't want to step on your toes. We didn't want to step on any of the right. real site toes. Yeah. So we weren't taking any stories. And Dave was like, "Where the fuck are all the blogs?" And I was like, "There really haven't been many uh, like college, just college stories." And we like this is I this is all my fault. Like we we definitely botched our first attempt at Parcel U. Um, and and he just went and replied. And like I didn't I didn't know Dave. I, I had never met. I had met him once. I met him at, at my interview. But like I thought of him as like the funny guy online. I thought yeah, it, you don't think for, it was like your boss. I thought though, it was like, like can, a nice guy. You you could, like yeah, I, I didn't yeah. I didn't know him yet. Right, right, right. <laughs> and. Uh, and he was like, he replied like, G like Jesus fucking Christ, you're gonna be the first guy ever fired before he even meets his boss or something like that. Yikes. And I didn't send the email, but I had typed out like, ha 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 ha. Right. Sorry, I'll get it better. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. I didn't send it because I was like, I was like maybe. But he's you got because like at that point. He wasn't know, like right. Dave the fucking, you know, yeah. the, the conqueror. It was like he I was thought he just, was just fucking around with me. I was actually like, trying to figure out where it became that. Just recently I was having this thought for some reason. Um I guess somebody was asking me, you know, what do you what's Dave like in real life or whatever? And cuz I I remember always telling people that I I knew like very quickly in like 2009 we were not going to be like a collaborative effort because I sent him an email saying how about you blog on Barstool New York for a day and I blog on Boston and it'll be like Flintstones and Jetsons like a crossover and he just wrote back why would we ever do that and I was like okay cool never mind <laughs> so I was like check like never you know never right. try to be like you know collaborative again but I but I, I wasn't like all right like it's fucking me versus Dave now I don't know when that happened I know by deflate gate it I think Deflate Gate was like the nail like in the, the coffin. Nature of New York versus Boston just but but, caused uh, but that. it was like I think yes. I think on some level there was a uh uh subconscious thing of like I want New York to be the best. And I think he was like, I don't want these new guys to, you know, to be the best. I want I want to still yeah. be the best. Um but I, at least in the beginning, thought of that as like good natured like rises like in a right. rising tide sort of thing yeah, but i think at some point it, it got like you yeah, know not like really personal but it definitely became more than just like maybe it's healthy competition personal preference too he's not like a big stand-up guy right so maybe just like he didn't like see like your style or i mean he like yeah he didn't care about podcasting he doesn't like stand up i get that but like all the guys that he really gels with really well are all the thing people that do exactly what he well does. yeah i remember like being gambling I, the gambling i remember being like i'm fucked like this like, i don't that, gamble and i, about Barca, I you can't, can't force it, it. Yeah. you cannot force it all the people that have tried to force it have failed at it yeah and everyone that's well been that was about it is rocketed i remember I trying mean, to talk about it, it's like i don't even know what the fuck i'm doing the <laughs> the, the the vernacular of it all it's like yeah. if you don't know it and, and it's so obvious right away if you try if you're yeah. trying to talk about it but i remember being like dave gambles and whatever but then as as more and more people came that gambled it was very obvious like i remember just being like nobody's like friends with dave he's just dave but then it's like oh if you gamble and you like horse racing and all this you do oh, become yeah. friends with him yeah. so then i was like oh fuck i'm like on the outside looking in yeah. but i still don't know what when it was like 
when it became more like you know a rivalry or whatever right. the team oh oh you know it's probably that team Portnoy thing it was probably that yeah was probably I, I was gonna radio. say when we first was in New York yeah because I think being oh, on, was hot I, that was when I first came in it was hot yeah he was like rallying up the troops to go well against. that yeah that's what sucked is that wasn't it like the Robbie cool guy Robbie group? and Trent go, oh that ha- happened too but that was that was. That, that, that was the, like, okay, I think the powder the keg. G-chat gang. I think I think there was a powder keg and like the Kanye concert and and things like that lit it. But there was like but this. That was building. our first night in New York. I know that's what I mean. So like pre New York. I mean for me, I think it was a lot of like you know it was Mets. Uh, it was uh, like Patriots, Jets, and New York, Boston, and it was like little shit talking that eventually was like oh. Like that joke took it a little too far. Yeah. And that one was like out of line, and you do Plus that like every fumble, day for like years. It just things were not going your way. Well, that's so I was just like the the, the punching on. bag forever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think there was definitely a period of time where Dave, like Dave, thought that like sports were real life. It's like if right. my team wins, I am the winner, and you are the loser. Yeah. You know, or it's like I think like that I don't know. You is, just honestly. yeah, no. I mean, we all <laughs> do, but like it's like game. it's like yeah, I'm I'm better than you because I pick these colors. Right. You know, and that's right. that's how sports goes. Fucked, but um, but yeah, that. I also dealt with it like for an hour on on uh, rundown and then gone, you know. Yeah. Whereas you guys, the radio was a wild time. Radio, too. yeah. You see, you had pizza, you did radio, twenty four seven, did all of it. Like, and you know what? I and maybe it's a sick fucking me, but I miss that fire. Like I talked yeah. to Trent about those it all big time. days like, were always bro, special. I, I miss that fire. I miss the big days, but I also miss just being in the line of fire. <laughs> yeah. I do. I wow. Really miss, I know. I, I, I definitely get that. I really? miss like you guys. Get, are sick I miss fucks. like having a deadline of like, and so I do it with myself with foreplay. Like now I'm editing like Breaking Ninety, and I'm like sitting there, and like I want someone to text that, me and yeah. be like. Where the if fuck this is isn't it? fucking out yep. tonight, you're dead. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's just like, yeah. do it. I've said it with these guys before. I'm like, I don't, I don't manage like Dave, but and like we've had a couple of screw ups, and I'm like, if this was Dave, he would like emasculate we you in front of everyone. To our guys but you would never make that mistake it ever feels again. So then. like, you can't. I've always tried to say it to our guys, and our guys are incredible. The amount of videos we put out is fucking asinine. Jake and Brendan are nuts. I don't know how just they do machines. it. Machines, it's yeah. crazy. They're yeah. putting out an hour and a half edited golf movie. Two times a week, every single week for when, two weeks. When you compare that to they like, <laughs> when you compare stop. that to like the movie industry and TV and the amount of stuff you you shot like one music video, right? It took like a week to do yeah, like yeah. one music video. Yeah. These just, guys do it like twice a day, every day. It's, it's crazy. Bananas. It's a nonstop. So, but like sometimes if they like mess up or I don't see the fire, I'll be. I want to say like, dude, if, if you worked on a day one day, you'd be fucking right. murdered. But you can't yeah. say it because it's like. That's a dick thing to say. It's a dick it's thing. It's, all, it's like it's also you can't uh, compare yourself to fucking Dave. But like when people are like, you know, the, these new guys like don't know. It's like, of course they don't know. Right. They they work for the company when it's worth a billion dollars. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> work grew up in a happy home. 10, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I hate the like. I went to school uphill both ways, but it's like, yeah, things were different and harder back then. You know, like and you can't replicate. You can't just be like. Act like me. Pretend it's that right. way. It's like unless you have someone like with the knife over your head at every oh. second, you're not gonna feel that. I way. just miss. I miss like the rush. I, I used to get such. You're a, crazy a junkie. Rush. You're a fucking Dude, sick I used to get junkie. Such, it's a high of like, all right, we're going to a pizza. You got nine to knock out. There's gonna be fans. There's gonna be people. That, yeah. There's gonna be a mess up somewhere along the line. The Uber's not gonna pick us up. Yeah. But I gotta call it as we're 15 minutes out. Like I used to know every single mannerism he was gonna do or every single decision. Like. I knew when the time got too long in the car that I hadn't called the next pizza place. That like as I'm pulling up the phone, like, I heard he's about to fuck? say, "Where's yeah. the pizza place?" Yeah. And they're going, "No, I'm already on the phone." Like I knew, <laughs> I knew everything how to do it, and I missed that like. Rush. Well, it becomes like it's. I want to go it's do like, your like a pizza almost. review run with him again, but I don't know if he'll let, like let me do it. See, I, would, I think he is so. I don't think he even feels any of that. I think he's just like I just I do this for the money. Yeah. I just do this for the company. I don't what are you talking about? Like, you know, it's almost like when people say like this is bulletin board material and, yeah. and it's like we don't need any extra motivation. That's Dave. He just doesn't need the right. that the the reason to do it. He's right. like I just do it. But for everybody else, it is like the juice that gets yeah. flowing. You're working with the best and the biggest and you know, the more I see for Austin error. has the same thing. Like when he does a big like video for him or whatever, you see like it's like a sense of like, wow, we got through something massive. Like yeah, Dave yeah, and yeah. I had to go through some cr- crazy stuff. Like Super Bowl, I got fucking carried out. Yeah. Had I dropped that phone or didn't uh, get that video, you're dead. Who knows where like it, it doesn't go? Yeah, like who, yeah, yeah. like that or was like our just, biggest viral dude, moment. Even to know that like, you know, everybody pretty much knows now to have the phone or the camera yeah, out. He but told there me was that a time to, like take the camera, I'm going limp. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but dude, at that time, my phone was like reaching 
like capacity, capacity? you might have not had that oh, i remember yeah, sitting yeah. there because dude at, when we were going to the super bowls and all those playoff runs you're taking video of a four-hour game every second right. you're sitting there filming right. so like and you couldn't really go happens. into your fo uh, photo album and delete because then you would maybe miss the next play so i would just have all these fo photos when you do that are you is, is it a running video, or are you stopping? I was stopping. It's in, and it's every play you stop. We, we were wondering about the, the gambling yeah. cave guys now, when they just sit they there. Stop. Is that, they, they stop, stop and go, go stop yeah. and go? That's I mean, pain in the ass. Yeah, that job sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. But now they have two phones. You notice that? They have, like, a phone just for filming. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, which, yeah. I mean, it's like, So they can, like, course. text. Like, you know, because I used to get texts. Or dude, right. someone's oh, like, I can't. Yeah, had yeah, someone yeah. called me yeah. during that Super thing? I think the video ends. Yeah. Yeah. Not not right? now, but in, uh, there back was a time. Then, yeah, uh, back I think then, the video just is over. Yeah, because fucking my nanny called me, <laughs> <laughs> nanny and papa. <laughs> <laughs> but now, so now you're like you you go to foreplay. Yeah, you're you become. It was a while where you're like the two and a half member. Well, you know, I, now you're we like talked fully. To Dave. I was like, well, I, I sat down with Dave and I was like, can oh, I, I remember that? That do was a this. tough period of time where Frankie Oof. was. He was doing. You were doing. At one point, we you were, were full time both, though, which yeah, is we always the hardest. Foreplay. We were recording yeah. foreplay at like eleven o'clock at night, right, like in the office. After Dave would leave at like eight, we'd sit there, we'd write a rundown, yeah. and we'd do it. And I would only jump on. I never did guest interviews, like so. It was yeah. a very weird time, and I never did videos for sure. Like my first time ever doing a video with them was when like I took over the YouTube page, and that was only a couple years ago, like a, during COVID. So, um, yeah, I sat down, Dave, at um, Kentucky Derby. And I was like, hey, like, obviously, like, I'm doing both. Like, what do you think should be my next move? Like, what's the best decision for Frankie Borelli? And I never thought I'd be able to ask Dave Borna that. Like, that was ballsy. And, I, like, that was, I, I can't believe Dave gave you, I'm, I'm guessing. Well, he, he was you, just like, you know, like, I think the, your future is probably better off, like, trying to do four plays. Like, it's a big brand. Like, and if you want to do that, go ahead and do it. Like, I can figure it out. Like, I'll get a guy. So it was an amazing conversation. I wanted to, like, hug the guy. I'm like, all right. Like, you know, Dude, I'm going to miss it, it. It is funny when. And then when... two years went by where I wasn't able to move. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Like, I, I, I was going to say like, that. Remember that conversation we had? Right. right. Yeah. Lexington. We are living in the era of trying to expand your mind and uh, and take note of your mental health and sometimes you need um, you know a little help a little little something to help open up your brain open up your mind and that's why you got to get mind bloom it's the leader in at-home ketamine therapy it connects patients with licensed psychiatric clinicians so people who know how to use some of these substances to really open up your brain and make your uh, life uh, that much easier to deal with anxiety and anything else that plagues you um, you take an online assessment, you schedule a video consult, then you talk to them and then they approve you. So it's also not like you get them, you get it, you get it. It's like you have to make sure you, uh, check all the boxes in order to do so. And then when you do, they send you a kit in the mail with the medicine, with the treatment materials and a set of tips on how to get the most out of your experience. Um, after two sessions, 87% of mind bloom clients report an improvement in depression. I mean that's like 100. It's, it's, 87 is like 87. Don't problem. check me my, my math. 87 is 100. That is, I, I'll tell you what I, I liked when I got 87s. 85 reported uh, improvements in anxiety. Hell yeah! I mean improvement Two in anxiety is, is an improvement in in depression yeah. in my mind. You know, uh, so enter the next chapter in mental health and well-being. Let Mind Bloom guide you. Go to mindbloom.com/kfc. Get a hundred dollars off your first six session program when you sign up at mindbloom.com slash kfc then use promo code kfc at checkout uh you get a 100 bucks off your first six sessions that's mindbloom.com slash kfc promo code kfc I mean, <laughs> if, if, if he found if he had found a replacement for you right away it probably would have been fine well the but, way that i got austin in here was i basically hit him from dave so austin right. was helping me during like we were doing pizza reviews obviously the unboxings was insane the unboxings was mm -hmm. like the craziest time of my life I, I wept i cried in front of my family one night i came downstairs and i was like you can't do it why was that so hard because that was just ig Bro, live i thought he would do ig live from 10 o'clock to one o'clock in the morning and i would have to sit there from 10 to 1 a.m writing down what i thought were all the best uh, gifts and then, and then he would make it he would we transfer them to me so that was uh, a nightmare the videos were three hours long right so right. he'd have to sit there he'd have no wi-fi and he'd he'd we <sighs> transfer me the video and then i would have to edit it and have it up by 9 a.m each day and that went on for 31 straight days <laughs> so by day 21 
I was like, I just can't do it. <laughs> and, and 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 you're also doing mm -hmm. the podcast at that point. And I started that behind the greens video because I was going to say at, at that point I would so just I was, be nocturnal, but you can't. So really, I would edit the video until like four a.m. and then I'd go to Wingfoot and we filmed the new series, and that was like our biggest video ever. So yeah, it was like yeah, the yeah, things yeah. that were happening, but. But then Austin and Marina, who obviously Marina is like my, she's my queen. Marina has helped me throughout my entire career. If I didn't have her, I never would have made it through Dave. There's mm -hmm. so many times where like I couldn't get to something and mm -hmm. she's just like, I'm obviously in front of the computer. I can mm -hmm. get it. During that time, like I had this guy, Austin, who was from Boston. He was helping me do a lot of pizza reviews. So he was like, hey, man, I'm, I'm a go-getter. I know everything about Dave. I know his mannerisms. I, I'm a diehard Dave Portnoy fan. And I knew you needed someone like that. Yeah. That would like trust that I could trust. So I was sending him a bunch of pizza reviews and I was editing them because at this time, a lot of the stuff was um, remote. Dave would send it to me from his phone. Right. So it got to and the point By the way, you have to know, like when, when we when we hire outside cameramen and editors, they they always spot they it. They fail every like, single time. And, and like the people, like they'll, they'll have the camera on like the thing over here. And it's like, oh. no, you have to be on Dave or you have to be like knowing how to shoot Dave. Knowing how to shoot barstool style is one thing, and then knowing how to shoot Dave is yeah, like a whole other gotta, thing. He's got to have a feel for the moment. He's always pointing at things. Mm -hmm. But so Austin would film. He would edit a pizza for you, and I would edit the same one, and I would check them. And if I didn't, felt like it wasn't right, I just post mine. So I was doing, I was sending it to him, letting him. But practice, you were doing it yourself, and I was doing it myself. And then months of that went by. That's like, a cool way to, that to months and months. And Dave didn't even know this kid existed. He was in Boston. He drove down to New York one day because his Wi-Fi went out, and he's like, "I'm gonna come get the fucking card." And that's how wow. I knew he had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He slept yeah, in my yeah, apartment. Yeah. Like it was my first time meeting him. I'm like, "Bro, here's a card for just like one review." Just for like six, we did like a bunch of reviews somewhere in like Jersey, and I had seven of them. And I'm like, "I'm trying to send this to you," and he's like, "I'm gonna come down there and get you know, it." Right. So he drove at like 10 o'clock at night, got to my place at like 3 a.m. He took the card, slept on my couch, and then went back to Boston yep. and edited the video. Right? Really? So shout out. To Austin. Yeah, that's how I big knew. Awesome. And I, so, and the, so and you kind of like I just meet you. Yeah, you just like one day I just, just switched them. Yeah, <laughs> and he never noticed. It's like Miyagiing somebody, kind of like and like Austin Dave, those pizza reviews have been started pretty good posting recently, huh? them, and like Marina would post like then uh, Austin would send the pizza review to Marina. So that at some point was I there was just, a reveal to Dave? Well, then like finally, point where you're like, like he hey. would come into the office, and I'd be like, "This is the guy that's been doing this." And then he met with them, and I I got Gaz on the uh, Gaz mm -hmm. kind of facilitated it. Mm -hmm. He's like, "This guy's really good." But yeah, there was like how many this, times like, do we say it? Like the number one way is like to just do it, yeah. just do it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, but people are like, okay, and it's like no, but like literally, fucking. And go you also have to know like, that it falls on you when it messes up. When I was doing all that shit, had like when I gave them full like control, where it was like Austin send this to Marina and post this. If if that review was fucked up that night, he's not calling Austin and Marina. No, he's calling no, me. Right, so yeah. I have to make sure that's that like that's, that's when you become almost like a producer and you're delegating yeah. and shit but you still you know there was you're a lot still of the delegating person. going on it was nerve-wracking it was a nervous time but um i mean now they're fucking killing it so but like do you i feel like you you look back on it being like i loved it like i love it. but you didn't you know like oh, at the time you were yeah. like I'm, you're Whenever crying you're your family role. and like when you're in that role it's yeah like, i'm just saying it's so funny you get even just a little bit of distance this is not like Oh, like ten years ago, and you uh, can, you know it's like this was your your last like role, ago, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, and you're and you already kind of forget how. how but there is that, 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 that like the, the camaraderie. No, it's not, not even camaraderie because you weren't you weren't really sharing the experience with anyone. But when you like when you get through the storm, you're like, look, Whoa. that was scary when we were in there. But like that was kind of fucking wild, yeah. right? I, like, I also was, yeah, I love the like the <laughs> life experience to be like that's something that you know. Point oh one percent of the world can be like, yeah, I was the like the punching bag producer, right hand man, assistant, and like pseudo friend of like a hundred millionaire for a couple and weeks. To be fair, you know, he was uh, never really years. that bad to me. Like he wasn't. I was never considered a punching bag. I did that to myself. Because mm. I never wanted to fuck Is, up. You know, I've had a theory about Dave on that front, too. He's never been mean to me. It was, obviously, he's yelled at me if I messed up, like, a couple times. He made yeah. me cry at the pizza place at one time because <laughs> he said he was going to fire me. And I said that my daddy wouldn't take me back. <laughs> <laughs> like, which that, now, that knowing my like, dad, that was, like, like, that was like week one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, dude, you suck. I'm like, I, you can, I can't get high. You, I'm like, you're going to put me on the streets. <laughs> that honestly is a good way to get to but Dave. Now, knowing because my dad, like... Obviously of course he would take you back. Yeah, he's like the most loving <laughs> father in the world. But like knowing Dave, like the best way, to, it, it's kind of like a Grinch thing. Like you can, 
If yeah, you can get to his higher. heart, he doesn't want to hurt anybody. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, he doesn't yeah. want to be, and maybe it's from a selfish point of view, he doesn't want to be known as the guy who, like, kicked this dude when he was down. <laughs> but he doesn't want that on his conscience at all, I feel you like. definitely get yelled at. Like, Austin gets yelled at for internet issues and stuff. And Dave knows that's not his fault. But, like, he, it is his fault because you should have set it up before and it never should have gotten done. Right. I would always think of, how am I going to get yelled at today? And that would cause my life to suck. That's the great way to approach like, life. Like, <laughs> if you have a shitty boss, be like, not like, what do I have to get done today? Like, how what are do I? How am I gonna get chewed today? out if, if I fuck this up? So, hundred yeah. percent. Always live with the I, negative. I have thing a thought coming. about it, it was about making money on the side because now a lot of people. It's, a weird it's a very world. gray area. A lot of people are making influencer money, and when we came up, that was like a big no no. But I was like, was it really though? Was there ever like a sit down or an email that was like, yeah. you cannot do this? I think Dave just kind of like incepted us on that. And, probably somewhere and in a contract, but not really. That's I mean, what I mean. I, I, I mean I've definitely heard him say it. Yeah, I've, but I've for sure heard him say it. Where it was like, and this is back in the old office, and it was like, if they have money to advertise with you, they have money to advertise with us. That he said that's you guys. Dude, yeah, because I don't think I ever like line. had yeah, that right. conversation. <laughs> we all know that line. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> well, I guess they give you a little bit. They could give Barso a lot of it. Yeah. Well, I, I do know when he, he used to say it's a loophole where it's like they get it is they, though they're right. fucking scumbags for sure. But like. I don't. I don't know if there was ever just like a hard and fast rule about yeah, it, because because I feel like when some people started doing it, nothing really happened. Yeah. I remember being like, "Wait a second, the new guy is making like bro X Y Z on the side." Yeah. I remember, and I remember I'm like too afraid. Publicity to... posts on Instagram hashtag ads. I was like, "What? That's, happening? Happening? That's what I mean." <laughs> and then, but like that, nothing happened to her or anybody else. And I was like, "Wait, are we allowed to do this in this whole time? I've just yeah. been too afraid to like even." push the envelope well, it is like, funny like i always just everything <laughs> dave thinks i think at this point so it's just like when like he says like if you're he's like i would love to go on cameo and make it a couple extra dollars. maybe pay my taxes at the end of the year or something <laughs> but i can't because dave says your career's a failure yeah. If you go on cameo. <laughs> yeah like i've like looked at the email being like oh everyone on barstool's on cameo but i just put Dude, the phone down I'm like ah, i remember that money. I, I, <laughs> I think he was specifically saying that too when he found out i was on there it was always a nice little extra jab he's, that, that but line's insane. but uh, it, but it was true. Like I was doing it at a point where I like needed to pay taxes right. and and like had bills, and I was like, I am not gonna have enough money at the end of the year. And and this and then as soon as I was good, I was like, I'm not doing fucking cameo. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. It, it's a good thing when you're like in a jam, right. or right. if you're like the guys from the office who make like two million dollars a year. Right. It's like that's that's your like almost your job. Right. But that in between, it is like yeah, you need. Agreed, yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't just. I would be like, I don't feel like doing this stuff. It's it <laughs> like, is, like, dude. Like it, it is. is. It's so easy in theory. But it's but not. like I'd be like, I don't. I don't have this. Like I. Right. Another I use, bachelor I spend party. All my energy like thing, on fucking another podcast and yeah i do podcasts i do interviews that's all the talking i do for the day you that's know the dumb. best at it is is our guy bobby fairways fucking he may, so that's another one where it's, he basically has like a career it's doing insane. that yeah who's this bobby Robbie uh robbie oh, burger yeah, yeah. He, he's like he, the number one guy on cameo he's charging really? 100 bucks a pop crazy insane. that's the other number thing one, too you, you you get a real ego check when when it comes down to deciding how much you charge yeah and you see how much some other people charge and it's like what were yours uh i did i did Forty dollars, I think, but like, or I did fifty, but I tried a hundred, and it was like nada, zero. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody booked me. Dropped it down to fifty, and it like I instantly got it like a decent amount. So it was like, wow, I know right. my exact worth. Right. Like it's yeah. it's not even hundred dollars. It's you know, it's not even sixty dollars. It's. It might not even be 51. It's he, 49. He it's, does it for bachelor parties where, like, everyone sits around the TV and they throw it up on there. And it's, like, a two-minute just hype-up video yeah. about See, like, I, what you're about th to that get is, into. And, like, they give them all the jokes to they say. They do that. They do birthdays. You do you do the bachelor parties. You do, like, gender reveals. Uh, I feel like that is kind of, like, what they're used for. Yeah. But I'm not – I don't have – you know, Bob, he has that, that voice and oh. the – I'm just like. By the way, you know, hey, it's so man. funny now. He's like our biggest competitor. It's, I, like, it's amazing how that just comes. And up. it didn't have we to like be that way. We talked to him like for Barcelona stuff, but, but yeah, there there he's was a incredible. perfect example of a guy like that should have been on the pirate ship and had email wasn't sent, for like, uh, like yeah, a honestly good for him. He's doing his own reason. thing. He was always gonna blow up. He's just such a such a character, and they have like their own version of golf. Like people watch us now at this point to make fun of us at how bad we are at golf, and they watch him just for the comedy version. He's basically Bro, a comedy brand on, on the golf course. That voice it's, is... Perfect. I mean, he's funny, but the voice is what perfect. makes it so And his unique. cast of characters are incredible. Fat Perez and Fat, Joey Cole cuts. Dude, like, he just, like, has a factory. He it's just... Crazy. He, it's like a little mini bar store. Really he just is. creates and, and finds these guys. Yeah, he's in good shape. Uh, but that's another example of, like, uh, if, if Dave, you're on Dave's bad side or wrong side for some reason... He just didn't like the way he uh, took the first like contract. I remember that being talking <laughs> to him, being like, "You know what, man? Don't take it personal, but like, 
you're just never gonna mix it. I met with Barstool. Bobby in Florida in uh, L.A. We were d- out there doing like pizza reviews, and I like went and got dinner with him. And he's like, you know, like the first meeting with Dave did not go well. It was the the, the hardest thing I ever had what to happened? like talk Basically with him. Basically, met with him, and he was like, he gave him an offer, and then. Robbie like sent back a message being like, "Hey, like I think I'm worth like a little more." And, Just like, he I negotiated. Wanna, I want to stay yeah, in yeah. LA because like, I have a really good lease. And Dave's like, "You're like." you don't want to take a risk on this you're done yeah. and then from ever for, from then on it was just like nothing i think it was a it was i think dave is very uh fair with like negotiating and money and 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 like your worth and shit when he thinks you are worth it. Well, to be fair, like if, Dave, if, if, Robbie didn't have anything going for him when they were having that negotiation. True. He just had uh, yeah. Instagram. Yeah. So now he's but, got a fucking But brand. I mean, but I, I remember thinking this is just a solo dude who has like 150,000 people on his Instagram, which like if you're not a chick or you don't have some sort of backing and you do just like you're, you're I don't know, put it, put it this way. I had enough thought of him to be like, right, this guy right. is good. Dave didn't think so. so he if, actually if you, did think he was good. I remember sit, talking with him being like, yeah, he's just pretty good not good, good enough to... He did not like the way he negotiated. Yeah. He's like, this guy's going to be a problem down the line, the way that he's talking about yeah. his like, worth and all this stuff. Right. That, Dave has like rules about yeah. that where it's like, as soon as you like, say Francis a certain thing... This guy, this guy respects himself. This <laughs> is going <laughs> to be a headache down I the road. I think that there was a point <laughs> where... That is, that is also why I do think that there are, there are a million different reasons why Barstool like worked yeah and i think it was because none of us respected ourselves <laughs> <laughs> so like Dude, none of us are fact. They, they, like our end of your calls or meetings would be like like hey you're getting a five thousand dollar raise like, beautiful Thank sounds you. good yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the fact that he found the five or six guys in the beginning that were as passionate about it and as like biggest pushover pussies in the world it is amazing is, it's fucking doctor strange in the infinity war like it's there's one combination where barstool <laughs> exists and it's that find a bunch of like funny guys who are afraid of me it is Done. true though yeah. he had to find a bunch of people that were like complacent in the fact that they were just going to work as hard as no. anyone's ever worked yeah, ever say, and not, not care about yeah. Oh, like complacent with like your like salary and stuff because like yeah. he needed you guys to like not give a fuck. But about also that. in the beginning, or else it never would have worked. But part of like, that though is there was nobody else that, to go to. True, and there was, also there was, no there was other. But like it was also I've always said that like the the my only we fucking made it moment is like you know we've sold out theaters, we've done these fucking massive shows, we've had Cyrus the Boys incredible successes. My only I made it moment is when I made fifty grand a year. Right, because I was like, I can live on this. Right, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I fucking. This is all all I ever wanted to do was live on this. Like five or six of you guys for a long time to To feel that same way. Okay, (laughs) but we. I mean, at least for me, stopped. It's like fuck. The having a little taste of the shitty life, and then having like a taste of like the like I wrote this great blog or this video or whatever. Like being, uh, being like proud of that, and being like fuck you, bro, Bible or whoever they chive. We're better than all of you. Uh, was was like enough for us, but right. we, it should have been like, and also, but he was the, the salaries were good though. That's the thing. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I yeah, no, time, we weren't. Like, every time I I I got a little bit fed up, I got like enough of a raise where I was like, cool, I'm good, you yeah. know. And now it's like obviously different, where you know things have just gotten crazy, and it's like some part of me is like, I don't think anybody should be getting paid what they're getting paid. It's crazy, <laughs> you know. But you know, the proof is insane. in the fucking pudding, and the old guys are just like, I think it's it's like we can't even. I don't know. For me, it's like I can't even comprehend some of it. No. So, but but uh, for the guys who've been through the fire, like Frankie, it's I don't know. Made you made you the little twink that you are today, yeah. man. <laughs> that boy that Do, you, you, you think like when you see those old pictures and videos of you, it, it's, it's like the the aging in barstool years is a thing. It's yeah. just that you happen to look like you were fourteen at the time, and now, I look and now like you look 16. like you're twenty four yeah. or whatever. I yeah. noticed some grays here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Definitely gray up top. Look. Yo, bro, you're gray, Let's see gray the, dog. Yeah. I like gray. Oh, man. I think you look. I think if you look I, great. You look like a child, though. I'm gonna look like a fucking <laughs> Benjamin Button. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You know, like, like a whole, like, robot or something. To get like to to receive the Eucharist at church, you, should, you gotta be like eight for that. <laughs> right? I mean, when do you fucking make your fucking confirmation? Like, you're like, nah. That's I remember funny. this one lady was like, nah. You're just... <laughs> no. <laughs> How old were you? I was like 18 or 19 years old. I was like, I'm not 12. Didn't you get like carded at an R-rated movie or something? Yeah. That was you, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, that's that? crazy. Two years ago, three years yeah. ago. That is insane. <laughs> to even card someone in the first place yeah. is fucking how much? Nice. How old do you have to be for a rated R movie? 17. 17. Yeah. But like, yeah. I mean, I, I, no one. No one has ever. I started going when I was like 12. Ever. How about yeah. the other day we were at a restaurant, 10 people, 
And the fucking waitress just goes, can I see your ID just to me? <laughs> Everyone around Everyone me is my good. age. <laughs> I, I literally said, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like reaching back. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, what the fuck's going on yeah. right now? <laughs> She's like, I just don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a liar. That's what's happening. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> no, I am getting gray. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Uh, gray is fine as long gray. as you have the hair. That's the key. Yeah. yeah. I think everybody, you got hair. You're not having any. But I have to any... dress for men at some point. No. I can't go full gray yes, by the time 35 years old. I, know, I think it it's depends, so. Dude. I think dude, it's way John, weirder to be the name? guy who dyes his hair than to be the guy who has gray really, hair. Really, though? Yes. What's, what's the guy's name? John fucking. I mean, Milmore looked good with gray hair. Yes. Milmore exactly. looked fantastic. He's also yes. like older looking. I don't no, know. I think you kind of actually look similar to Milmore. Like you have the yeah. same like builds and. True. Is it John Singletary? No, that's a football player. The. The what guy it, from uh, from oh, John Slattery, maybe. Yeah, Mad Men. Mad Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, that's full gray. That's Anderson Cooper, Anderson Silver Cooper, Fox, right? man. Someone fucking messaged me the other day that people. that uh, I was wearing a sweatsuit that we were selling for four points. Someone said you look like in the Santa Claus when Tim Allen is just realizing he's about to be Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the most fucking, like, yeah, he's clean on the shaven, head, but he's clean fat shaven, and he's fat gray. gray suit. And he's just like looking in the mirror like, oh, getting gray. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, it's been a good ride, right. so... Uh, Go when back you guys to clean your asshole in the shower. <laughs> there we go. When you guys clean your asshole in the shower, do you stick your finger up your asshole with soap? <laughs> I I do not. <laughs> Clearly I you do. I don't. I don't. Uh, I do the I do I'm the lean you. forward and you spread. If the you cheeks. don't spread the cheeks in the shower, <laughs> you're I've an asshole. I've given it a little finger before. You go how, like a knuckle in? <laughs> no, no, no. Just a little rim job. <laughs> how else are you supposed like, to actually clean it? I just, I, I just take I a bar of like, soap and I, I feel like you gotta that, just clean right? like, oh, I do the, the outside. gel like it's a lube. I do the gel. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're shoving soap up your own ass. <laughs> Bro, you just like to finger your own ass. Frank, that's all. Frank, he's farting just, bubbles you, later. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have a little kinky shower for yourself, like don't you? I like the feeling. Yeah. You, you guys ever give yourself a reach around? Or you're fucking... <laughs> no, I, I go, I go, I, I, you know, I go underneath and then I go back and then you do the spread. All right. All right, good to know. <laughs> Turn this fucking mic one, one day, <laughs> one day when like uh, you're either too old to golf or you have like a catastrophic accident and can no longer golf. Yeah, you just come over here yeah. from yeah. My, from my hospital. Come on, bed come on home. Quadriplegic, <laughs> just talking about. Like, <laughs> fuck. I do love whenever uh, like a little bit of KFC radio, Frankie comes out, and it's just funny having. Trent and Riggs on the other side where like yeah. not that they can't hang by any means but like Trent we know is just like a good loving like nice guy and Riggs is like f so singularly focused and then it's like you know yeah you guys ever fucking finger your own ass and it's like <laughs> I said it all the time well that's a different question yes <laughs> <laughs> check your prostate check your prostate <laughs> alright go watch four play and shit you know make sure you subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast, so that's it.